<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode one, goddamn 24. We got, uh, man, we got two people in the building, as you can see. We got, um, to my to left of me, it's my left of shit. We got Actress. <laughs> we got Nail Tech. We got podcast host. She a mother and a goddamn wife. Andrew Alexis, what's, what's up? What's going on? Then Thanks to, for having me. Then to left of her, we got goddamn, he a barber, a motherfucking video director, goddamn photographer. And I think that nigga do a whole lot of other shit too. <laughs> he, a, he a podcast host himself. This nigga was Deacon. Uh, Johnny Cooper, <laughs> aka Coop. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny was Deacon, Cooper. Johnny Cooper. What's good with y'all? Cooper, what's going on? Thanks for having us. For sure, for sure. Everything smooth with y'all? Oh, yeah. Everything is good. Oh, you yeah, happy belated birthday. I know your birthday just passed, June oh, 14th. Thank you. Your flag day. Yeah, thank my you. shit was uh, seven days birthday. later, June 21st. Same day as my brothers. Happy so you wanna you wanna cuss. I don't know, you don't know if you're a Gemini or a Cancer. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Sometimes I'm crying, sometimes I'm mad. Yeah, I be going through a lot. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. So this day, uh this day first time they got a podcast, Power You podcast. Yes, yes. Uh but this day first time getting interviewed. Yes. So you know what I'm saying? Once people come on my shit, they tend to blow up a little bit. You, so. Oh, okay. You got yeah. that effect. Well, thank you. <laughs> for sure. Mama, we about to be on. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't forget about me and shit. <laughs> We now, here, we here. We ain't here. forgetting about nobody. Right. Oh yeah, for yes. sure. Now we always start everything with salute me while I'm here. Mm-hmm. Um, give people a flowers while you can still smell them. A lot of times you wait for motherfuckers to pass away, write that long ass Facebook status about how you right. love Craig or Felicia and shit. Oh, but you know what I'm saying. But it can't be nobody in your immediate circle. It can't be wife, husband, kids, mom or dad. It gotta be somebody out of that out of that circle who gonna you know what I'm saying the obvious answer. So who y'all who y'all want to give a a, a salute to? Get some fo- some flowers to. It can't be no family? No family. It could be family, but it can't oh, no, be just immediate. that immediate family. Not me, not your mom, not the kids. Okay. Like cousins or something. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. hell yeah. So. You're going to go first, Coop. You, you want me to go first? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I like to give my cousin his flowers. Mm-hmm. Bruce Tony. All right, shout out to Bruce Tony. Shout out to Bruce. Before, before, before he came back around, we, we was always a, around each other, but before he came back around, I was like, Pussyfooting with whatever I was doing. He was like, why you just don't do what you go do? Yeah. Can I say that? Oh, yeah, for sure. You said whatever you want. Okay, okay. I'm just making a shout out, you know. <laughs> but yeah, before, you know, I was pussyfooting and he was like, do what you go do. Yeah. You know, I got your back. Yeah, for sure. He for sure got my back with everything I do. Why, why, so I got his back. Why would you pussyfoot, man? I mean, you, <laughs> shit, you know how you. Right. This is the thing. You know how you do something and you be like, shit, I'll do that later. For sure, for sure. Instead of just going full force with whatever you go do. Yeah. And I had the ability to go full force with whatever I wanted to do, but I just wasn't doing it. Yeah. Like, for instance, like the podcast thing. Yeah. Like, I had the ability to open up plenty of studios, but I never did because mm-hmm. I was pussyfooting like, ain't nobody going to do this shit. For sure, hell yeah. But this was before I had the wife. Yeah. He So it was like... <laughs> I I want motivated. Yeah, you, no, you for know sure. what I'm saying? So hell yeah, hell yeah. I feel not it. being motivated will affect a lot of stuff in people's life. Man, hell yeah, hell That's yeah. Facts. All right, no shit. I'm I'm I be I've been pussyfooting a lot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My whole life I was pussyfooting and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start using that shit a lot now, like you know, pussy foot <laughs> I'm gonna steal that shit. Like dog. Put in yeah. your lingo game. Hell yeah, you know that. Yep. And what about you, Andrew? What uh, what's going on with you? Who you want to salute? Ooh, get some flowers to get too. my flowers too. Um this is random, but I recently had came across her page again and was seeing uh, stuff that she was doing. And I know, okay, first, the person is my cousin. Her name is Morel. Okay. And before I know she was doing, going to school to be um, to criminal justice, I believe. But now she changed it and she's, uh, I want to say she's a counselor. Or mm-hmm. She's into mental, like... A therapist or something. Don't quote me. Don't yeah. quote me. I'm going to get y'all the facts, okay? Sure, but she's sure. into the mental health world, okay? Yeah, I want to yeah. be factual. I'm going to drop it later on for y'all. But anyway, I'm going to give her her flowers. Um, We grew up together. We used to be super tight. Yeah. Stop talking. Life came, happened. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So for I just sure. want to give her her flowers and let her know, like, what you doing is 
that's what's up like for yeah. the family like for herself yeah. just you know putting on for generations to come it's really good what she doing hell yeah, hell yeah. that's what's up yeah. salute salute the cousins and shit salute. Uh, now i usually don't salute like brothers and shit but i'm gonna salute my blur my brother because say his birthday and shit Happy sometimes birthday. he an asshole we like night and day and shit but that's my dog and they got my new apartment and shit dog you know what I'm saying? Car and shit. So now he's got to, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit together, give him a little family and shit. Because he always talking about he want family and shit. So mm -hmm. now you got everything, nigga, right there, nigga, so you can do that shit. There we go. Shout out to the classic pothead, Young Malcolm shit, dog. <laughs> so uh, it's 2022. Yes. Tell me about y'all year so far. It's, it's the middle of this motherfucking June. Like, what's some ups, some downs? What's some shit y'all been through with motherfucking 2022? Damn. Um, well. When 2022 popped off, I was pregnant. Um, okay, that's always good. <laughs> Wait, for who? <laughs> for who? But um, I had my son in March, March 4th. Right. And then we had kids' birthdays, like, back to back to back. Oh, so y'all got, back. like, a little time. You know, yeah. When, when y'all, you know, say Actually, the year kicked off with a birthday, you know. Yeah. After that, after having babies and all that good stuff, we just been out here doing podcasting, trying to get more into that. Sure. We've had our ups and downs. Um, the downside will be people telling us they're going to show up and, you know, don't oh, yeah, come or touch play that type Hell of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been traveling a little bit here and there, mm -hmm. taking the kids on little family trips. Yeah. Um, just working on trying to perfect our craft and doing more and, you know, just getting out there. Yeah. What about for you, Johnny? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Cause this is only like certain amount of groups of people that get to call me Johnny. Yeah, oh, you but like I'm gonna accept. I'm gonna accept it from them. <laughs> Cause be like, hey, if you know Johnny, then you know you know know you me. Know you, you know yeah. you, you know me. Like yeah. E course Coop, yeah. E course Johnny. <laughs> yeah. So what? Yeah, what the year been like for you though? Like this year it been like, in all honesty, it been like it been very motivating. It been very exciting. Yeah. It it, it makes me want to push forward to the next step. For sure. Cause it's like it's a lot of stuff that people don't know that we got going on mm -hmm. that's been a go go. Yeah. Like I'm not saying like for fake go, I mean go go. <laughs> for sure, yeah. For fake go. Like yeah, yeah. burn fucking rubber and if you on our back you going to. Hell yeah, shit tag me in. Yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> tag your man. Hey, y'all got tag me in when y'all came to the podcast. For sure, that's what's up, friend. man. Appreciate that love. Hell yeah. Now with this year dog, what's some shit y'all learned about yourself? You like damn huh? Damn this or damn that, like some shit that you know what I'm saying, good or bad. Um, I learned that I was going through postpartum depression. Okay. Um, that was some wild shit. Yeah. Some I, real shit. Hell yeah, I women. bet. Yeah, know what I'm saying. For the support men who of women who's going through that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was going through that. Uh got over that. Um I learned that I'm a little crazy. Not all the way there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay. I learned some of my triggers and been working on. I mean, like true, things, true. You know, <laughs> he like yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit. Well, yeah. So you know, before I get the coop, like how do you um, how do you how do you deal with that? Like what what do you do to make sure you're not going too crazy and shit though? Like you know, saying you just you know chill and relax. Sometimes mommy need a mental minute, like yeah. uh, just you know make sure if if he's not there and I'm there with the kids, just make sure like they're good first, and then just excuse myself. Yeah, go sure. have a little moment, breathe, mm -hmm. count ten, we'll sign, maybe call my mama, whatever. Yeah. Call him like you need to get here and get these. Yeah, cry a little bit and like, shit. You know all that shit. Take a shower, good. a shot, whatever. Yeah, yeah, shower and shot and cry. <laughs> you do shit all, all of that. All of that in the bathroom. Kids like why it smell like that? I just yeah, had yeah. mouthwash. <laughs> So, so what about you, cool? What's some shit you uh you learned about yourself? Good or bad? Man, this is what, what I learned about, about myself. Yeah. I learned that I'm a little bit selfish. Yeah. I learned I'm gonna say all the bad stuff first. Yeah, get that bad shit out. Yeah, get the bad shit. I learned that I'm selfish. I learned that sometimes Damn, I'm just selfish as fuck. That's it. That's yeah. why I'm real selfish. Damn, that shit got to be hard having my wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> <It'd> be selfish. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know? Just, it'd be like, I, I know I got shit, and I don't be wanting nobody to touch you, but it's shareable shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I'd be being <laughs> selfish. You, like, you like, tell me like, they could be right on like, cereal? I ain't even gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I have some graham crackers. Everybody know kids love graham crackers. I'd be like, why you touching my shit? Yeah. But <laughs> being why selfish you again. Shit? Yeah, for real. I don't say why you touching my shit, but. I probably have, but I don't know. Yeah. You know, he didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yeah, I'll be saying that shit to a kid. Like, hey, why you touch my shit, girl? Yeah, but. Touch my niggas like they. Maybe like one. Man, shit, so. Man. <laughs> what else you like? What's the good shit? You What's the good shit? I got I got a lot of good shit. Yeah. I learned that 
I got connections that I didn't know I had yeah. cuz I never talked to people For like sure. on that tip we always just talk about usually whatever it is we talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't go no further somebody told me you need when you talk to people you you talk to them to learn something from them. For sure. Yeah. And if For you sure. ain't learning nothing, ain't no point yeah, to talk to yeah, them. Yeah, got, yeah, got wasted. So I started yeah. doing that, and I started learning a lot from a lot of people. Like, a lot of my friends, they they doing a... Can I get some more flowers out? Hell yeah, go ahead. Yeah, shit. I'm going to give a lot of flowers out I'm to a few me. of my friends. I'm going to give Lauren some too. flowers. I'm going to give Dre some flowers. I'm going to give Sid some flowers, because all these men, is men I've been with, I'm going to give Karan Davis some flowers. <laughs> Not been with like that. <laughs> No just homo. Play. I'm sorry. I'm These old men, I've been with crazy. <laughs> they gonna do it, babe. I'm, I'm trying saying to help you out. I'm saying been with them like three, yeah, no, like y'all two times. To, yeah, y'all grew up together. Y'all be boys to men. I'm no, I'm woman to men, not no boys to men. Don't play with me. You know what? Anywho, I'm sorry. You was giving your flowers. You crazy? I can't get no more flowers out. That's it. If I get y'all no flowers, that's my wife for it. No, it's not. Don't do that. Oh, I want to give one more. It's to my, my sister. Turn. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Get sorry. your flower, sister. Your sister. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, sister girl. Yeah, to my sister. This is my biological sister. Righteous. She's also a writer and director. She's out in Cali right now. She's been doing her thing. Mm -hmm. Writing movies, writing little short stories, whatever the case may be. For sure. She is she up next. Yeah. That's sure. all I want to say. She took two minutes of my time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah. they do, man. They We're take your shit. Motherfucker time limit. Okay. They take your shit, bro. Yeah. But other than that, you know, uh, I just learned, just learned a lot of stuff about myself and like I needed to, I, I learned to appreciate life for what it really is. No, for sure. That's a fact. Hell yeah. And appreciate people. No, you got to. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I wasn't appreciating. The way I appreciate this year. Never appreciated before. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Because, yeah, you got to. Then it, it, it's funny you say that shit about the connections. I just seen Wallow post that shit about, like, keep your connections strong and tight and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. and if you got them numbers, like, don't use it for no bullshit. Use it for yeah. when you really got to use that right. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste that motherfucking connection. Yeah. So, before we, the last deep shit I'm going to ask y'all before we get to y'all motherfucking come up and shit, like, what's some challenges y'all still face with to this day that y'all working on to overcome and shit? <laughs> Number one is procrastination for me. Yeah. Um, you on that bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. Um, but I acknowledge it and I'm working towards. Yeah, as long as you do that, then that's the number one key is the knowledge that you're gonna bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I could be honest. Yeah, hey, hey, we all be. Hey, I know I'll be on the super bullshit. What about you, man? You looked a little like yeah, you took like a deep breath, like. like <sighs> so she's still working on, bro. I'm still working on. Uh, how to talk to people correctly. Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, like, be, coming from where I come from, it was, it was only a certain way you're supposed to talk to somebody, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, I've been the person I never, ever, never asked for anything from nobody. Even when all. you need it. Even when I need it, I figured out, shit, I go burn some CDs and sell some CDs or <laughs> yeah, something to make some money. Yeah. Or it ain't even about money. It's just like, I just learned that you can't do everything by yourself mm -hmm. sometimes no. it takes a team but it's so hard putting a team together when certain people fall out through the the, the loop yeah, and, yeah. And you, sometimes when you're putting a team together and that one person that you thought was going to be the key person in that group mm -hmm. when they fall out of place it crashes the whole group hell yeah no fast you gotta keep that <clears throat> you gotta keep your circle small but you gotta have some niggas that's gonna work yeah, like, yeah. yeah. my circle small hitters Hell yeah, my shit, is my, my circle super small. Like, mm -hmm. ain't too many niggas. Then you gotta cut niggas out. That'd be hard, but you like, dog, fuck, I just gotta do what I gotta do. It'd be for yeah. like the, the good in the long run. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. might as well just hurt your feelings and all that shit right now. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. We both cry about it or whatever the case may be. Move on. Yeah, then, on see, y'all might come back together and be, hey, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Bad. But y'all still need to have that conversation because yeah. clearly right. motherfuckers didn't know yeah. they was doing wrong or right, you for know? Sure. And maybe yeah. sometimes they just don't know. Yeah, hell yeah. Niggas just don't know, man. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> but if you have the conversation, then they can't say they didn't know. Yeah. But then when you do have a conversation about dog, you know, I know, but nigga, fuck Right, that, like, right. so, right. so basically, that was still fuck some bullshit. me. That's what it yeah, means, Yeah, right? yeah, niggas still don't give a damn, dog. Nah, that's why I learned just to, uh, like, when you're making these circles, you separate these circles. Yeah, you can't yeah, put all, can't put your real friends 
in your business circles. No, nah, hell yeah. Because then yeah. it's going to fuck up the business. Yeah, because you might be a little bit more passionate about yeah. it than he is. So now you bumping heads with him because, like, nigga, you don't give a fuck. Like, no, right. I don't. Not, not like that. But <laughs> this, your, this your shit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we was just having a good time. For sure. Yeah. Shit, I work at Chrysler. Hell I'm yeah. good. Hell yeah, man. Shout out to them Chrysler workers, though. Shout I hate that shit, though. I really hated that. <laughs> 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 now, talk about growing up. Like, wait, be, wait, before y'all, you know what I'm saying, was one. Well, talk about growing up and shit Where y'all came from Who was in the household Oh okay All that good shit East west All that shit man Um so I Started out On row 4205 Oh yeah 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 Shit you in the hood And Was on What Hamburg I was somewhere everywhere East for a little minute mm -hmm. Um We moved to Virginia When I was about 12 Okay Was out there To like my ninth grade year First semester mm -hmm. Then we came back Okay. In the home, most of the time it was my mom, my brother, my sister, and I. Mom mm -hmm. might have had a husband at mm -hmm. one point, then oh. you know. Yeah. But most of the time it was like the four of us. Uh, did you uh, growing up? Did you was you cool with your pops? You know who he was. Whatever? Um. So he had lived in Alabama. All right. Um. Eventually, at some point, we started to communicate. Mm -hmm. Then I found out he was in jail, and we was like writing letters back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, we moved away when I was twelve. He didn't have an address to write. I don't know what happened, so yeah. we just lost touch. Um, so we really didn't have a relationship. Mm. I think when I turned 18, probably after graduation, he hit me up, found me on Facebook or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, was like, oh, yeah, I just want to be a part of your life mm -hmm. type shit. But, you know, I'm like yeah. 18. I'm grown, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I graduated. You can't tell me shit. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Drink 1800. You know, no, but for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. <laughs> Honestly, facts as fuck. Yeah, and you know, like I didn't want to have a relationship, so. Yeah. Now looking back on it, it's like you be like, "Damn, that was kind of dumb for me to be, to be thinking like that." Because yeah. even though it was kind of late, but he still like, you know, what I'm saying he said he had no address to reach you. I only found you on Facebook. Yeah, even. I was like, "What up, though?" So now do. Nah, you, then fuck all that. <laughs> now do you look at that like maybe before before <laughs> you got with uh, Coop and y'all got married and stuff like that? Do, do you look at him missing was probably like playing a part in your life as far as like relationships or like. You know what I'm saying? Looking at me in a different yeah. way. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, a girl's first love, sometimes they say it's her dad. For sure. So he kind of set the tone. Mm -hmm. Or a stepdad, whatever male finger is in her life, sets the tone for the way that she should be treated or the things that she should look out for or look for when she is for sure. getting ready to date. Yeah. Um, so I had my big brother, but he's five years older than me. So by the time I was getting of age today, he's already gone in yeah, college, military, thing. whatever, starting his own life. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Then sometimes those women be like, God damn, you asking for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you missing your motherfucking pops and shit. Now you asking for me. You want me to do everything that nigga didn't do? <laughs> now you need too much. Yeah, like, damn, God you still damn. want that life with the two Hell yeah. That, if y'all hear that, that's granddad shit. That's all, though. He was kidding <laughs> shit. Like, we real, like, real big chick in the basement down here. No, sorry, it's, right, it's cool. Yeah, but no, so you say, uh, you know what I'm saying? You got you 18, whatever. So, like, shit, talk about them high school years. Like, what, were you into sports? Were you out here, you um, know what I'm saying? Turn up like what, what was up? No, I, I wasn't turning up. I ain't, I didn't really get into all that until literally like eighteen and after, like sure. as far as turning up. But as far as sports related, I dabbled and dabbled in a little bit of stuff. Um, mm. I tried track freshman year. Mm. Um, everybody like you should play basketball, but that was just like never my forte. Like I like mm. to watch it, but I'm just not a hooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did step for a little bit. Mm. Things like that of that nature. Mm. How was those grades looking? You was a good student. Listen, I was the class clown. I just wanted to have fun terribly, yeah. but I'm being honest because yeah, yeah, yeah. if you go back and look at that shit, they could have. I was nominated for class clown. I just wanted to have fun. For sure. My mom was on my ass about my grades though, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but was I on a row, valedictorian, yeah. all that? No, I was yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I ain't finna lie to you. Yeah. But I made shit happen. I graduated. For that, was it high school. Warm okay, okay, yeah, I heard that's cool. I remember we played them with the girls point off and shit back in the day, day and shit. All right, I got a, I got a diploma. I have my, di my diploma. <laughs> so I don't know my shit. I, I just came across my shit. My yeah. shit. <laughs> what about you, cool man? How was it growing up? Who's in the crib and shit, man? All that good stuff, man. Well, growing up. Uh, how old we start from? <laughs> All your shit seem deep, like man. He always he, he got trauma. <laughs> I mean, depending on what part of my life you want to go what to. Age? Talking, what age? As a what, kid, what you, you know. Who's in, ho who's in house? house? Where you where you grew up in and shit? We gonna jump to high school or we jumping a little kid? We, ju we jump a little kid. What, what, like one? <laughs> Damn. No, for real. No, we it, talking it, elementary. From I'm gonna tell you. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Ten. Ten. Fifth grade. Ten. Yeah. Uh, oh, you said ten. 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 Okay, ten. so we skipping everything under ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. fuck that. 
who was in, who was, like a relief. Who was in the crib and shit, man? What, what was going on? Ten, I think I was on um, uh, Evergreen Schoolcraft. Oh, you West Side, eh? West Side, I'm West Side. I'm for sure West Side. Yeah. I'm going to go back a little bit more one time, yeah. and then we're going to jump back up to ten. Fuck it, fuck I started on Hubble and like Schoolcraft, like yeah. that area. Yeah. So, you know. There's a lot of people over there I know that I see now that's doing what they do. Mm-hmm. But back to 10. I'm on. <laughs> what am I saying anyway? Who was in your house? Yeah, growing up. How was it growing up? 10. My grandma. Oh, shit. Yeah. You just. Damn. So my grandma <laughs> stayed in the apartments that's on Evergreen and Schoolcraft. Right. These apartments, I don't know if you remember, it was uh, way back. She stayed in the apartment. Where it was a big ass car accident and the lady flew in the sky and fell through the roof. Damn, damn. Yeah. What the fuck she get hit by? She, I think she hit a bus or yeah. a pole or a something. I don't her. know what she hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she got hit, but she flew out the sunroof of the car and fell on top of my grandma's refrigerator. Yeah. And she got off the refrigerator. What the fuck? Can you imagine that we doing Duh. a show and somebody just fucked? Duh. Yeah. God, damn. But that went off. She got off this refrigerator and went and laid on the couch. Yeah. So when my mom, my grandma came home from work. She had the strength. She. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you fucked up and the drum yeah. a little bit, oh, you yeah. gonna get to a safe spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she got to the safe spot. She got to the couch. My grandma came in. She was like, this bitch was laying on the motherfucking couch, yeah. sleeping in my house, blood everywhere. Duh. I'm like, woo. That's crazy as hell. That's yeah. wild as Yeah, I gotta shit. cut that shit out and put it on the way. <laughs> Man. Duh. That's wild as shit. So I just remember that. So yeah. who else was living Mom with Mom Pops. So grandma was living there. No, no Mom Pops. This is when I moved with my grandma. So okay. my grandma, my Uncle Bubby, yeah. and my sister. Okay. We all stay in there. Yeah. So hell it yeah. was like a little wild. A little wild there. That area was like very, very, during that time, gang related. For very, sure. very. When I tell you very, very gay related, <laughs> yeah. we get it. Like, when I walk out the door, I see somebody getting beat up. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Like, you in the wrong neighborhood. I'm yeah. like, damn, nigga, he live right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm like, now let me ask you, like, not to get too far in your business, but you say you stay with Grandma and Uncle Bubba. I mean, what's his name? Uncle, Uncle Bubby. Bubby, yeah, I said Bobhead, but uh, Bubby. <laughs> when you stay with them and your sister, like, what's up with moms? Like, was well, your- moms, during that time, she still was a little young. Yeah. She had me at a young age, so she still was trying to, you know, figure things out, figure thing out, yeah, that's all, get that's her life together. Yeah. And you know, I ain't mad at her for it. Yeah. Some. She got shit you safe happens. with your yeah. grandma. Now, yeah, she, let's skip a little bit because I'm gonna go back in your childhood. But how y'all relationship now? Like you and your she mom. She at my house right now. Okay. Okay. Baby, yeah. that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. God, about saying because now we got damn, we got yeah. wife with dad. Oh, oh, my mom. My dad. Yeah. He 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 was very. Uh, uh, he died in when I was. 19. Oh, we talked about that, yeah, because all yeah. three of yeah, our fathers yeah. passed away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Rest in peace, man. I ain't yeah. trying to make us cry, but yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna cry. cry. No, <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right. So you say you know what I'm saying you growing up with grandma. So like, yeah. So would you athlete, man? You a big, you a big nigga and shit, man. Like you was hooping football. Well, during that time, I was no. I was, well, you can say I was an athlete. Yeah. Because you had to run from shit. But <laughs> <laughs> in high school. In high school, okay, we gonna go to high school. High school, I was an athlete. Yeah. yeah. I played football. I played basketball. Yeah. I did track and field through the shot put. Oh yeah. Uh, Whatever they offered, I did it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you was all. all I ain't gonna say I was the best. Yeah, but I was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have you had a dream for one of them? Like I'm gonna go to the league. I'm gonna go to do this, or it was just like, no, I'm doing this. Shit I for, just was doing it. Yeah, for the time I being. Wanna, yeah, I'm doing it for the girls. Yeah, hell yeah. No, we always. Yeah. everything is for them. <laughs> everything. Yeah. Shit, they can shit. I was doing everything. I was figure out what I was gonna wear for school for Man. them boys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Michael Vick jerseys it. and shit like. Yeah, but braids. Now, yeah, I realized I had a problem then. Yeah, I always wanted to fight. Yeah, I used to fight, fight. Like I'm going to other high schools. I think the coaches just put me in a basketball game just, just to stop the game if we lose it too bad. Yeah, diary of a mad black coot. No, yeah. because why? I don't know. Like I was like, see, I'm saying, angry. So yeah, see, my, my facts is right. Niggas who go through shit with mom and dad always be angry at school. They do. If you go through adoption. If you like, like adopted or you like a nigga who don't stay with their mom and dad, they always want to fight niggas. Because cause my mama dropped me off with yeah. a bagel this morning. God damn, bro. Like, you bro, want a piece? Niggas be mad as hell when they ain't with their parents, dog. Yeah, no, that's right. real shit, though. But as a kid, though, you, do you get no, it, though? No, I get it. I understand. You know? I, I knew I was mad. But that's some bullshit, though. I think that, I wasn't mad all the time. You was mad. I was. Damn. Yeah. 
Because even when I first met you on King Young Podcast, you look mad. Like, this nigga mad. I'm mad. <laughs> it's just a, no, mad it's just a stuck face. Not his face. It's stuck like that. She's been mad so long. <laughs> this nigga be happy, man. Like, damn. Yeah. Why you look like that? I'm happy, baby. Like, like what up, bro? Got, What's up, man? I got so many mad stories from when I was in high school. Yeah. Like, there's one particular story. I'm about to give me your mad story. Uh, one bad. You How many bad stories? Just one. I got two short ones. Oh, go ahead. Give me, them, give me the mad ones. I'll give you two short bad ones. One. Uh, me and my my homeboy, we all walking. We used to all walk each other home from school in high school. For sure, for sure. Just yeah, to be, you, you know, know safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, I guess you say the toughest two always the last two to get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and my dude, we almost home. Other yeah. little homeboy called us. Yeah. These niggas, they they like these niggas jumping so and so. Yeah. So we ran from like <laughs> how many blocks? One. Probably 12 blocks. Yeah, y'all was running. Sprinted. We sprinted 12 blocks. Yeah. No questions asked. As soon as I ran up, I just knocked the first nigga out I seen. Duh. This nigga, like, how old was he then? I'm 16. He was, like, probably 27. Damn. He's like, yeah. His legs was in the air. And then my homeboys get to stomping him. I'm just standing there, like, I already did what yeah, I was doing. you did your shit, yeah, yeah. I'm like, don't touch my boy. Don't yeah. touch my man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to be friends with you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't play that back Call you nigga like cool. But we used to fight each other too, though, so yeah. like I guess that right? kept us tough. Yeah, what's the other shit? What's the other uh, story? Woo! I'm going to cut that one out. Because right. I just remember some of the details. Yeah, you can't. Damn, I, you went ham. Yeah, I can't say See, that. you might be my dog, Hand Dog, man. Hand Dog was like a nigga who was strong for no reason. Didn't lift weights. <laughs> nigga just muscles. Just and I remember like this that. nigga's sister um, got beat up by her dude. And I'm talking about he beat this nigga so bad he was spitting a piece of his lip out. Like up. he was beating his ass. I'm like, yeah, this is nigga hand my As nigga dog. Shout, shout out to my nigga hand dog, yeah. man. But, Some kids just grow up big as hell for no reason. Did his sister go back with the dude? She probably. I'd have had to kick my sister in her back like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> my sister did that same shit. Well, yeah, Damn. thank God I ain't got no sister. I got a little daughter, but yeah. Listen, I got a sister, and she 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 ain't about to do no dumb shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. Because if I'm calling you to beat his ass. I'm done. Yeah. Kill that. But nigga. Yeah, for the most part, women are they 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 just mad at, at that time. <laughs> yeah. If I'm calling my brother and all them, I'm I'm done. For it's, sure. It's no fucking at that Call time. Call Stacy and shit. Dog. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. It's a wrap. I'm not about to. Yeah. I don't want to be back with this nigga. Now, would y'all say y'all childhood helped y'all as adults or hurt y'all? Um, I didn't have a bad childhood. Mm. Um, honestly, like out of all my family like how my mom and her siblings and all that everybody used to tell my mom that she was hard on us mm -hmm. but out of she has three kids so we do we, we doing pretty good you know yeah, compared yeah. to like we've never been in jail yeah, like a lot of our cousins and shit mm -hmm. like that we've never been in like real trouble we mm -hmm. you know working things like that taking care of kids and all that shit so For sure. i don't i didn't have a bad childhood mm -hmm. we used to travel you know, a lot of kids never been out of Michigan. No, for sure. No, a lot of niggas never been off the east side or the west side. You know she what I'm saying? Michigan, yeah. So she only, th I just didn't have my dad there, but my mama was like, did her thing. For sure. To be a single mom with three kids. What about, what about you, Kuma? You feel like your, uh, your childhood helped you or hurt you as an adult? I'm going to say a little bit of both. Yeah. Because it, it hurt me from not, like I said, talking to people, mm -hmm. knowing how to do certain situations. Yeah. But then it also helped me. Like, it kept uh, tough skin on me, so, like, if you do something stupid to me, it was like, yeah, you knock no. I'm done. No, yeah. I, knocked, I, stopped, <laughs> I, stopped, I stopped fighting after I, like, so, I went to counseling yeah. when I went to Job Corps. Okay. But when I went to Job Corps, you know, I was insanely out of control. Yeah. <laughs> No, like insanely out of control. I'm glad you calm down, dog. Yeah. Right. Right. Since, since I didn't give you that one story, I'm going to give you this story. All right. So they used to, we, it still was gangs going on, but I started something else. Yeah. And when I had started, it was like a group of us. I guess it was still a gang, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it's not a gang related. Right. You know, in, in gangs, you got certain jobs to do, get the money, it's the enforcer and For all sure, that. Yeah. So I was the enforcer. I already know, yeah. I, I so, figured that shit. <laughs> At certain times, they'd be like, hey, so-and-so acting up. Yeah. I'd be like, where he at? They'd be like, he in the room. Yeah. I'd be like, lock me in the room with you. Damn. This nigga. You see me walk in your room and I'm locked in the room with you, you don't want that. <laughs> like. Duh. 
Like this I nigga. beat him, beat the fuck out of him. Damn, but man. I wrapped him up and then she didn't beat his ass. <laughs> this nigga rolled him over the blood and just started beating. Yeah. <laughs> what was that off for a class act? No, no that's off for that's off for what's that? It was a class act. A scary movie yeah. when Marlon was uh, smoking. No, before that, class act. Oh yeah, it was, it was, it was. That yeah, big yeah. nigga with the tank top. Yeah, Duncan Penny yeah, Hills and Blake Dun- Brown. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> like, okay, you can go now. No, that's it. Damn, no. cause I'm glad you calmed down a little bit, man. Yeah, I calmed a lot. I calmed you ain't in jail or shit, though. Because usually things like that be locked up. I ain't, never, I, I ain't never been in jail like that. Yeah. Like, he said like that, nigga. I'm like, hold on. Wait, what, what the fuck? What type of jail you went to, nigga? A little jail? I mean, it, yeah, it's called a little jail. You just go for a couple, a night or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of jail. Just, just so you can breathe. Yeah. Just so you can breathe. Duh, funny as hell, man. Yeah. Goddamn. So, shit, this is related to that, then, because since you're going back in memory, memory lane, give me an album or song that take you back to a time clear as day. Ooh. Every time you hear it, you think about that. Damn, I remember that. I, I remember. got two albums. Go actually, we're going to go 50 Cent, Get Richard Out Trying. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go with Neo, yeah. um, his first album. Yeah. I can't think of the album name right now. But yeah, I forgot that one. Yeah, it was good. Those were me. In so, my words or some shit like that? Yeah. Well, um, what, uh, what time do it take you to? Like, what, like, um, what uh, Neo sound like a heartbreak and then 50 Cent sound like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 50 Cent, this is before we moved to Virginia. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I. That's, Anybody who know me know how I feel about 50 Cent or there at that time, you know what I'm saying? So it took me to a great time. I was young, innocent, you know what I'm saying? And we was like just carefree, yeah. I'm going to say, type of shit. Damn, so I'm doing the math. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. No, don't do that. But I'm saying, I was still <laughs> young. Like when 50 came out, I was yeah. young. And I was, that's what I'm tripping on. Like, having when, a good time. When that nigga said he came out, I think I was about to be a senior. Damn, no, old. the very first, like <laughs> the, the very yeah. first, it was still young. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't you know, we was living a good time. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? And then the Neo song, sent, uh, album was, it was, he was just singing some good stuff. Yeah, a little breakup and shit, I understand. You know, some kids, <laughs> that name mean shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that one song I remember I was going through that shit, like, damn, you know, dude. Which I forgot. one is I'm, it? I'm From that album? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about you. When You Mad? No. Sex I, Love? I think about this it. This is a song. The whole <laughs> album was. She know how I was. The whole yeah. album was. Like, you mad? What about you, cool man? What's that? What's some shit? Woo! I'm gonna find that shit too. My first, my first song. I mean, it ain't even no song. It's like a rap, like Black Rob. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Every morning, this this when I'm in job where I'm waking up. We doing. I'm waking the whole room up. We get up, do like what? How many pushups we doing? Probably like a hundred, a hundred straight pushups. Yeah. Like every single morning, we blast this like so the whole fucking floor. It's like, so job Corps like a college campus. You yeah. know how you stay on dorm? Yeah. yeah. It's like that. Mm. I'm going to let y'all know I still went to college too. So I mean, yeah, this, sure. just, this was just a, I got to get out the hood type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm there and we just like cut the music on everybody doing push-ups. And mm-hmm. like, it just reminded me of good times. That's like a good time <laughs> to me. Yeah. Is so. That, okay, now, now go ahead. What's the other one? The other song. I got, I, I, I think it's, uh. I always forget the name of this for it to be my favorite song. Yeah. Who is Grab it? Grab my niggas, uh, get high with my niggas. Oh, yeah. Bro. My niggas get high with my niggas, fuck hoes with my niggas. niggas. Yeah. Man. Yeah, what oh, is bro, that? Cheddar Boys. Oh, oh Cheddar Boys. That's the Street Lords, but Cheddar Boys on yeah, there, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, oh, that's Blade? Ain't Blade? Yep. Oh, I, I just can't think of the name of the yeah, song. Yeah, real. Because when that song come on the club, niggas go crazy. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. yeah. Or either they they playing, uh, uh, what's the other one? Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But when when we used to play that, it was like we used to be on Bell Out. This one Bell Out had the strip. Yeah, for sure. When you could be on that bitch yeah. without getting the so, yeah, Man. <laughs> man. Yeah, stop a chicken eight car, like what up though, Keisha? Yeah, so <laughs> we used to be riding through there like deep. Yeah. Like deep. So yeah, that, that, good that, that was like good times yeah. right there. Now that song somebody song was so sick. I said, so sick of love songs. Okay. Oh, yeah, so sick. Yeah. yeah, I was a bitch that, hurt. Like, yeah, no, yeah. for real. Damn. You just play that bitch just to make yourself sick. Damn. That will make you cry. Happen, ain't nothing yeah. happen to you. You like, I want to cry today. Like, damn, I love you, girl. So, Fuck, you yeah. fucked me up yeah. with that one, dog. Acting it on the shit. Nah, I'm but saying. I'm you, I was the king of uh, calling you and, 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 and playing that shit on your voicemail and shit. <laughs> My go-to is this Ray J uh, song, dog. Which one? Uh, one Wish? No, not one wish, not one wish. It was um. Ray J. Wilder. It was something. It was that? called. Yeah, that was funny. That was a classic. Uh, classic battle. I ain't know. I ain't know what's that couldn't sing like that, dog. That nigga, uh, Mario. That nigga, terrible. Yeah, Everybody. but who thought that? Who Mario I, I, the goat though? Yeah, like yeah. Mario, his vocals. I think he was that bad though. Like, no, Mario. He <laughs> nigga, Sammy, act like he a legend out here. Like nigga, cause you ain't well, this shit since no, you were thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Just hard boy, nigga. Stop playing with me, dude. I didn't even watch it. By the way, that 50 Cent album came out in 2003. Yep. I, I was in the. Uh, I graduated 2004. See, yeah. So, yeah. 
We ain't the same age. We old nigga. We old nigga. We too weird. Old, <laughs> old nigga, man. It's all good. It's turned 36. I'm in that bitch. It's I okay. I woke up and hurt. Like, damn. That's how it is, huh? Closer to 40, Closer, Hey, listen. That's why I text my brother, too. I literally. I told you I got the same birthday. I texted him. I was like, you closer to 40. He yeah. tried to be funny when it was my birthday. Like, oh, man. you. I ain't gonna tell people though. Yeah, but yeah. Like, oh, all right, funny. Hell no. Now give me something that y'all wanted to do or be that you was too scared to tell somebody back in the day. Like me, I wanted to be a tap dancer. Really? What? Yeah, I wanted to play piano and shit. Never did that shit though. Went to uh, karate and shit though. What did I want to do or be that I was? I've always, I've always been open. Back then, I I, I said that I wanted to be a cosmetologist. Mm -hmm. Like when I was a kid, but. Mm -hmm. I no, told not, people. Nothing weird though? No weird, uh. No. Um. Shit, I'm just weird. Not, weird period. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't. Hell no. Weird ass thing, that shit. <laughs> and then when I wanted to be an actress, I just. That's what I've been saying from day one. For sure. For just, sure. No. What's nothing that? weird. What about you, Coop? What you want to be that was weird? <laughs> Y'all know it's weird. Look at your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna say some weird ass. I did. <laughs> what you say? You hit me. I wanted to be a contract killer. What the fuck? No. <laughs> what are you going through in this life? Going what through. you mean? I was like, shit. I'm since I'm angry, it'd be easy. It's good. Good job, shit. <laughs> it, right. I'd be like, shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm already doing stupid shit. Yeah. Like. I can't say that, damn. But <laughs> little stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, nigga, make sure you don't go to jail. Yeah. My shit, this ain't Vlad, though. And another thing, like, <laughs> what was that goofy shit I wanted to do? It was some goofy shit. Like, Wanna be a wrestler? No, I did that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I, it's like so much that I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like I can't really say it's nothing that I want to do because anything I really wanted to do, I did it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Except yeah. that. The yeah. contract killer shit. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, you're gonna do that don't shit. Don't do that shit. Yeah, there wouldn't be no little bit of jail for your ass. Not at all. Hold up. Hold on, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I want to go to jail at all. I'm talking about working for the government doing it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's yeah, niggas nah. out there doing that shit. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. You go to the Marines. They was basically contract killers. Yeah, for sure. No, fast. Hell yeah. Now, with you, you say the whole acting shit. What's, what's up with that? Cause I know you, you was in the one, one more flip and shit. Did a little research. You was shout, like, shout out to my scene and one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? What? What, like what stopped you from three from, seconds? No, hey, hey, yeah, <laughs> shit. That, you can make a. I'm, I'm trying to get to a movie real bad. I just want to tell niggas to put that shit down in the movie. Listen. Yeah, put that shit down, cuz. That's it. That's what. You, that's all you want to yep, say. That's it. Hey, put that shit down, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? That shit. Like, we gonna remember that. That's all you want to say. That's so, all you want to say. That's all I want to say. I got a spot for you. Give me a gun. And a gun. Oh, you want to play? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. All right, bet. We got some guns. Hey, y'all heard right here, man. I've been saying this shit to everybody on the show. All right. Hey, put that shit down, cuz. What the fuck is you doing? That's all he want to say. And you going to be talking to a little kid or a grown up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's the funniest part if you talk to a little kid. You going to be a high school nigga to bust out, nigga. Cause nigga wild. Like, right, right. Nigga talk to an old lady and shit, nigga. Right. She looking like, nigga, I just got groceries. Yeah, that's crazy. It's I mean, my fucking prescription, bro. You, you said a whole scene with them not saying a whole scene. I already know. Basically. Man. Five times. See, that's um, what I'm talking about. That nigga, he got a good mind. He, yeah. he be... Yes. So what's up with you with your acting shit? Like, just as something you still trying to do? Yeah, I want to do it. I have not went to any auditions, so I did recently submit my resume and my mm -hmm. um headshot. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Um, for a film. Mm -hmm. I don't think I got it though, cause they about to start <laughs> shooting. <laughs> Damn, we gonna and I it. didn't get a call or a text or an email, so I'm gonna assume yeah. that I didn't get it. I'm assume that maybe they didn't receive it for sure for sure yeah. we, 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 we matter of fact what i'm gonna assume even better is this just wasn't for me yeah yeah that's thing. right so, that's what it was it wasn't um, it was your shit but yeah I'm, i said i was gonna get into doing going to more auditions and being more active in that um mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. so i can start getting out there and maybe perhaps put movies together ourselves yeah cause our, cool mm -hmm. i know you were talking about you know get you into got, that got a lot of camera work and shit like that you know what i'm saying so that's something you want to do is start shooting movies and being more, uh, you know what I'm saying, up on that? Well, as you're saying this, we're actually about to start. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just waiting on her. Mm -hmm. So as soon as she say go, yeah. we gone. For sure. Hell yeah. So I was working on a, I'm currently working on a short script right now. Um, okay. It's done. I'm just like tweaking it. Mm -hmm. And then that'll be the start of things. For sure. We had, we got a short movie out there in the atmosphere. Yeah, called, <laughs> called Dog. You about to get dog. married. Dog, you about to get married. It is Dog. Uh, what is it? Paid in hair? Yeah, dog. Paid in hair. Cause I ain't, I ain't got no hair, so it was like we was talking about like, <laughs> trying to get hair for like two minutes and shit. Mm -hmm. Then the other one, I about to get married, so we trying to get me some ass before I get married. And you shit. know what? Did so, you, yeah, did y'all do that? We didn't finish the part two for it and shit. So we, <laughs> we working on it on part. On part. <laughs> working on it. We got to drop it on YouTube. 
Uh, we, okay. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's funny as hell. I'll let y'all see it. It's a start for sure. We just be just doing Having bullshit. Fun. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. We was in another little short film. Oh, um, we was. And I was pregnant and he shot me. I was pregnant for real, but he had to shoot me damn. fake. Yeah, remember that. What the uh, fuck? Detroit Pauly. So Shout out to Detroit The movie was, he was mad like, you got it. You he was chasing baby. somebody was... through our establishment, my establishment, mm -hmm. and he ended up trying to kill him, but he ended up shooting me because I'm like, the dude ain't in here. He's like, I know he ain't here. I y'all seen him come in here. I'm like, oh, yeah. bitch. Yeah. yeah. Type of thing, but yeah, that was yeah, our yeah. short love. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, pouch you and shit. Damn. Yeah, in my leg. The, real, the fake blood look real, real. Man, that's funny as hell, dog. Man, shoot niggas. This ain't crazy, dog. <laughs> See? Man, I had to chase this nigga. I was like, damn, I'm fat as hell. You got me running. <laughs> hell, dog. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, of course, people can see from the conversation we've been having at Charlie Gelly, y'all married and shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all uh, got married August 21st, 2020. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So y'all go. We did. We did. Yeah, y'all going on two years and shit. Uh, you know, I, I, I like do research on niggas, man. So uh, tell me, like, what was y'all first impression? Like, how y'all how y'all meet each other and shit, man? Give me a little love story and shit. You want me, you want me to do it or you want to? Listen, if he says some wrong shit, I'm gonna correct him, but I'm gonna let him have this because we can fact check. I'm gonna fact check. I got his mama and my mama on speed out, so we can fact check. Go ahead. Right. Well, you tell the story. No, 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 what no, what you tell it. So I don't feel like getting fat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fat check. Just go ahead. So basically, I'm gonna start it from where it started from. I'm, I'm on, what was I on? Snapchat? Yeah. Instagram. No, I'm trying to tell the story. Oh, okay. You're right. I don't know. He said, he said I'm, go. I'm right. on Snapchat. I'm scrolling, looking, and I see this girl. She uh, a model. I'm like, oh, I'm a. Uh, Try to get her to take her pictures. So, so I set, I booked something up with her. Well, we didn't even book it. We were setting it up. Yeah. Then we just like, the time was coming where I had to take the pictures or something. And I ain't get a chance to do it. Mm -hmm. But then I seen it on her Instagram, mm -hmm. like some other girl she had shot with. Mm -hmm. And she was one of the girls. Okay. So I booked her. Yeah. So <laughs> when I booked her, I was like, just come. Like. Let me see how short your hair is, what size clothes you wear, all this stuff. Because I was paying for everything because yeah. it was for, I don't remember what I was doing it for. I just probably was trying to. For like your portfolio. Yeah, my portfolio. But okay. I, I was like, if I'm going to do it right, yeah. you're supposed to pay for everything they need if you want them to look a certain way. For sure, for sure, for sure. So that's what I did. She came, did the shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked a little bit. She came in there with this perfume on. It hit you and shit, huh? Yeah. yeah. But it was like she left. <laughs> And she still was there. Yeah, I still smelt her. Yeah. This is like days, months later type of shit. So yeah. I'm like, what the hell you touched that I had? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I still smell you and you, I'm gone for a minute. So yeah, for sure. I didn't like pursue or nothing like that. Mm. So but you was on Instagram liking a lot of pictures? <laughs> I didn't. I, oh. I don't do that. Okay. I mean, hey, some niggas, that's their game. I mean, no, I don't do no, that. No, we didn't. We didn't communicate for like some okay. time. Yeah. I think we didn't. After that, after we did the shoot, I don't think we talked for another month mm -hmm. or two or two or three. Yeah. she hit me up was like she trying to do a podcast okay i told her to come up there and talk about because at the time i was getting a new building yeah i think i just was getting that building you was there was yeah there. i was there yeah i was there okay so we did that we started talking one thing led to another bam she pregnant damn bam she pregnant again <laughs> damn <laughs> damn fuck you <laughs> Puzzle and all that fuck <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, like damn. Just straight like that. Like, like damn, where is it? She can't do a podcast at the podcast we you know what I'm saying. But it was like, pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, it was episode one pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Duh. Was That's funny as hell, duh. So it's a uh, so what, what 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 time frame was this when y'all met and shit? Like uh, it was like right before COVID. 2019. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Towards the end of 2019. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all knew it was like love right then since y'all got married that this following. Guy. It, I'm, this I guy. I know, I, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a clear some things up. Mm -hmm. What you got to clear up? I'm going to clear some things up for people. Like, to, so during the time I was already in the situation. Okay. But the situation was ending. Okay. So I didn't end the situation properly, so it looked like. That you that she you came and took you. me or something, yeah. but it wasn't never that. Yeah, no. Dog, that's the same shit as me. Really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Do that. I didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't do that. Didn't do yeah, that. you wasn't a home wrecker. Wasn't she wasn't a home wrecker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was sure. already Shout a home situation. 
and I pursued her mm-hmm. like okay, but I probably on my head shouldn't. heavy. Heavy, heavy, yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy on, heavy but on just his. Just as heavy as I was on her head, she was on mine. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because you wanted to start that podcast just to get with him, then. No, that's not even true. <laughs> that's not even true. I was not even checking for this guy at all. Yeah. Wasn't. I just I knew that he was he had a podcast studio because I had mm-hmm. did the photo shoot there for sure. and all that stuff was set up there. For sure. So I was like, when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, I know mm-hmm. somebody who do it. Hit him up. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. He was harassing me. Yeah, for sure. And now we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, um, two, three years later, how you many know, kids? Eighty kids later. You said who? Eighty kids later. Oh, I thought you said eighty. I was like, goddamn. Two no. kids later. Okay, okay. So together, but y'all got like a blended family, right? Yeah, yeah we yeah, have yeah. five blended. Now how, now, how did you feel off? Because my wife said before she got with me, she'd never get with a dude with kids. Yeah. And bam, she with me. But um, you know, what I'm saying because I, I changed her and she, I'm a good, doc, good yeah, good dude like that. But what Aww. like did you what what were your thoughts on dudes with kids before getting with Coop? Like, um, well, you, see, I already had. Two kids before. Oh, so Cooper you already couldn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, Cooper only had one kid when he came. So, yeah. So we had three at the time. I'm mm-hmm. the one could have been like, man, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have. Yeah. Now, yeah. cool. If she had like a crazy baby daddy that was like nigga, like just I, mean, I know you're a crazy nigga just yourself. He but, probably, <laughs> like, probably would have signed up for the thrill, like yes, yeah. like, give me some shootouts for the cookouts. Let's get but, it. But like no, all, all just sound like for real. Like would that be something that'd been like a turn off? Because I could fuck with somebody who got like, you know what I'm saying? Can I tell this story? Yeah, you can tell it. Oh, she yeah. do got a crazy baby daddy. Okay, but shout out to him. We worked out the situation. We talked. Yeah. We even took the daughter to daddy daughter donut, and donut day. That's what's up. That's what's up. Grown like, man shit. Yeah, grown man. We grew, we we both grew up on that tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause the whole thing was I was trying to meet up with him so we could fight, <laughs> but <laughs> he approached me right, so I was like, I ain't gonna fight. Yeah. Cause I was gonna fight what? whoever was out there. So you so you wanted to, you because well, it was because of the situation between them two. I ain't trying to get in business, but no, like, oh, and want- not not because of me personally, just the way he was interacting. Shit. Oh, go ahead, my It man. was because like, yeah. Wait, okay, so specify. Cause okay. I can tell the story. Tell the story. Yeah, Cause every time, no big girl. So look, every time they on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't get in. I don't get in the phone conversations. For sure. But she put it on speaker sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes she'd be like, "Bitch, bitch." Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I ain't. I'm like, damn. I ain't gonna say nothing. But you know, I'm like, I'm like, she just go allow this shit. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I'm gonna set something up because. <laughs> Fuck that! But I I addressed all that. Yeah. He was like, I understand. You know, I wouldn't want nobody to talk to my girl like that. Yeah, all for that. sure, for so, sure. We cool. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, he a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just sometimes she misunderstands him by telling him certain and you, stuff. And she needs you to let yeah. her know, like, hey, cuz he ain't. Yeah, he ain't see, like see. that. <laughs> no, we do, for real. It no. ain't no misunderstanding, cuz at the end of the day, all the thing we we just got this one kid and, yeah, and in common, sure. so that's all we gotta yeah. worry about. That's it. All but, we gotta talk about. So if you don't wanna go through me because you think I may misconstrue. Misconstrue some shit. Yeah. Just text him. I'ma come pick her up at such and such. Meet meet me at such and such. You know, vice versa type shit. Y'all even you know what I mean? Cause it ain't about me. It's about the kid. Yeah, for sure. But I understand you cool. Yeah. Who <laughs> does his part? Who does his part? Sure, no, because you need. Women sometimes they just don't, you know. Sometimes women got. We do. We got, don't. Wanna, we and you got to have a dude who understand where he coming from. Like, yeah. listen, he probably ain't mean like this. It's like this. Like, and you know what I'm saying? And also when you and that person already had that type of interaction, yeah. things that like, y'all we share a kid, yeah. we'd have been through our worst whatever sure. at the time. So we probably don't even listen to my man. Yeah, yeah, listen yeah. to each other the way she that we should. Right so, she said, "Here we are." Like, <laughs> <laughs> listen to each other the way that we should. So he's like, you know, well, calm down, Dre. All yeah. you gotta do is. For sure. No, you need that shit for real. Yeah, you need that shit though. I know it's bigger you because thank God my uh, oldest son mom like her dude was a cool dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we we good. Her first dude nigga he was gonna die. But (laughs) (laughs) the second dude was cool as hell. Like all right nigga you cool like everything good. We had a conversation nigga. Me and my wife was over at his dad crib chilling with them one day like damn this shit weird. The random when he introducing the shit. Oh that's my baby daddy auntie cousin. (laughs) And then he like dude you want to drink some 1800? I'm like no, but fuck it I'll do it. I'll take a shot. Yeah. (laughs) One. Yeah for sure. Oh, that's why I realized 1800 don't have those twist off caps no more. They don't? No. Nope. Uh-huh. Somebody, they they said it? somebody had, uh, it was some broken glass now yeah. when they had to change it up. Oh, that yeah. was, if you was living yeah, through yeah. that time. Yeah, going to St. Andrews getting fucked up, boy. <laughs> I ain't seen none of them on nobody bars lately either. 18? 18? You no, know, I'm talking about the uh, the twist off top. You know, people oh, keep yeah. bottles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I be looking too. I'm, I was yeah, like, I had a bottle for no, yeah, those, those were some classic motherfucking <laughs> that's days, a, that's man. Those classic. Hood classic. rat days. Do, do people need hood rat, da- hood rat days to be in successful relationships? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait can, you have, can you have hood rat 
moments with your spouse or, you know, like your friends, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. No. What See, are you talking about? I'm talking about like, prior to getting to a relationship. You have, oh, yeah. for them to be successful? Yeah. You yeah. got to have those. You got to get the hood right out of you, You right? got to, yeah. yeah I yeah. think so. So you basically so? what he asking you is, have you had a hood right I'm telling you, for you too. I know oh, I have. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We all had hood right. You just had 18, like. What a time yeah. to be alive! Like <laughs> yeah. literally, eighteen the age and eighteen the drink. Like yeah. yes, we had no, our hood rat moments. Hell yeah! I had my hood rat moments. Hell yeah, though. That's probably why my first relationship didn't work. She had to get that hood rat shit over. What y'all consider hood rat moments though? Oh, shit, there's a lot of hood rat things. Um, just the way of living. Just oh, no. like, well, how you hanging out? Who you hanging out with? What you drinking? Okay, okay. you know yeah. what I'm saying? What you driving? What you eating? It's hood rat cars. What you dressing? You know what I'm saying? Hairstyles, yeah. all that. Exactly, all that do, all exactly. That, yeah, it all ain't all about just letting your boss loose to everybody. No, on, no, on, it's, it's a lot of the way you talking, the, the, what places you're hanging out exactly. at. All that is. Once of, you get a grown up age, even what you like, I said, we stopped drinking 1800. I felt like I, I graduated my hood rat. Yeah, shit. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now I'm a classic. I ain't feel like I ain't feel like drinking hood rat now. What? It was. I think I was hood rat. <laughs> you for sure was love. Hell yeah. Damn. Damn. Y'all was drinking New Amsterdam? Y'all was okay. <laughs> oh, that's what y'all graduated to from the 18th to New Amsterdam. No. I can fuck with that. I he actually... recently, you want to know about that story? Oh, this is that moment. I'm about to tell okay, you about that story. Hell yeah. I was, yeah this he, the... and this was not the story uh, I was going to tell. Off of New Amsterdam? Yes. Yeah. I've never had it before. This is like recent, like last year, two years ago maybe. What do we do? I'm about to tell you. <laughs> so, we goes, he wants to drink. I'm like, okay, cool. He just want to take a little shot before he go get a haircut. Because he was getting a haircut for your daddy's funeral. Remember? Or line up or whatever that nigga did to your head. But anywho. <laughs> oh, we at the store. Dude. He grabs New Amsterdam. I'm like, I never drank that before. I, I don't want to do it. Like, in that era, yeah. I was not that drinker. Not yeah. drink. Fuck that. Y'all can drink it. He like, no, it's good. I promise. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we at the dual house. <laughs> 20 minutes later, I'm in a dude bathroom throwing up. Man. But I'm a, like, they didn't know I was throwing up because the way I, I can... But you drinking it straight? We took a shot of oh. it. It was like a little double shot yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just took it and probably drank some pop or something just yeah, after yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. And I was just through. I was yeah. done. I was done. No. And he like, what's wrong with you? And I'm oh, like, the no. fucking trick you gave me. Remember I threw up and then I was sitting on the stairs? Fact he got shit. a fucking picture. Yeah. Fact but <laughs> your haircut wasn't fucked up. It ain't even that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do that all the time. <laughs> First of all, you just did that like three weeks ago. He's a liar. I only not when the liquor. No, not it depends. If we didn't eat anything and he wants to drink, first of all, he think I could drink what he drank. Like, yeah. look at him, how yeah, big the fuck yeah, he yeah. is and looking at it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he want to take three Long Island drinks back to back, like yeah. like the big bitches. Like they about yeah, this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He want to he'll drink his shit down, like and they be like, oh, I think I'm dizzy. Yeah. Nigga, I, you think so? <laughs> Time out. And think I'm supposed to do it too. And sometimes I do. And that's why I be fucked I'm up. I'ma fact check your ass again. What? The bottle, the, the you know the little white cups. No, you yeah. had three of them though. You said they was like this. <laughs> once, you, once, once you mix it all in yeah. together, that's your cup. Okay. You had three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all funny, man. That was he, he be the reason. So why you definitely I can't stuff. compete with niggas drinking. Cause you know my uncle big yeah. dude. I'm trying to drink with this nigga. Come on, cuz. Why well, I'm trying to keep this nigga? I'm on the ground dead. Exactly. Like, nigga, I already know. And he laughing at you like, damn, yeah. I was about to buy another yeah. one. Dog, nigga, dead. Like, what you doing, dead, nigga? Okay. I'm dead. Gonna, I'm going to tell you your hood right this moment. Ooh, when? Yeah. You don't <laughs> we know. Never I, talk I, about I, see, I see you don't know. <laughs> no, he didn't ask for the hood right this moment, did you? No, go ahead, no, though. What? We, <laughs> we wasn't even married yet. Really? And he still married me, so she, it must have been okay. It was okay, because, you know, like you said, it ain't about slinging the box or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was shit. But niggas got to asking me shit, but I'm like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, I know what he about to say. We in motherfucking barbershop. This the shop that I, you know, I'm part owner of. Yeah. She in there getting her hair did. Mm-hmm. So she take, I told her to bring a bottle of Hennessy up there. So she take, mm-hmm. she take yeah. it to buy herself to take a shot with everybody. Yeah. Who works there? That works there. Yeah. So let me tell you how many people ho- this shop holds. <laughs> this shop holds 22 people. Duh. 22 stations. <laughs> So she want to go to each and every one and take a shot. Not everyone. Not everyone. But the cool ones. Yeah. 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 So it's overseeing. Yeah. So I say 11. I didn't eat yeah. anything. That so next thing you know, uh, the, the girl here she doing, she takes me like, The girl hey. who doing my hair. She like, come get your girl. She down here flying like a plane. <laughs> so I look down there. She down there like, I'm like, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> I didn't eat that day. Fuck up. Yeah. I didn't hey, eat no, that day. You cannot drink and not. I mean, and, and don't eat nothing. I, and that'd be my problem every time. And my the best thing to eat is pizza, like some with bread. Every time, and before and after. Yeah. I fuck myself up every Man. time, and I know better. See, but now, now I'm kind of mad at you. 
Because if you say every time now, you too old now, you got you know your limit. No. <laughs> you right, y'all. Hey. You know what's crazy? Because when you I turned... You about that yesterday. Listen, but you right now. I turned... <laughs> my auntie literally just sent me the picture. I turned 20 or whatever, and that day, I did not eat shit. Off no. of Ciroc. Off of Ciroc. Literally, every person I ran into bought me a bottle of peach Ciroc. Yeah. I was off that heavy. I was in the house before 9 o'clock because I was done. Like, but you know you ain't had to drink it all. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's dude, my birthday. Say, what you mean not drinking? See, I say when you um, I didn't have a when you, whatever, whatever your age is, you start drinking. You got a three year window to get fucked up, and then by the three years, you should know like, all right, what's my limit? I know better. Yeah. It's like I just be doing dumb shit. That's like, my problem. Like, girl, see, eat. See, I used to drink to get drunk. Now I just drink to get a little buzz. That's all I need. That's it. That's just a buzz. It. A bug. I don't want nothing too crazy. Cause I hate y'all. throwing up. Cause one time my drunk moment, I was uh, everybody was in my apartment and shit. And everybody left, and I just went ham. I At least threw, they was gone. I threw up in the refrigerator on a piece of box. I threw up in the in clothes. Your ref- in, inside in the it? Yeah. Why I you threw threw open the refrigerator up? I don't know. Looking for something to eat or drink, and I th- just no, came out. To, to, all right, I'm trying to hide throw up from my wife. In the refrigerator? She in the bathroom. That's the first place she gonna see. She in the bathroom, dog. <laughs> I threw up in a clothes hamper. Who cleaned that? Uh, she she had to. And then, I, I, when I threw up in the room, she kicked me out, so I ran out the room, went in my son's room. You threw up in your son's room? Threw up a little bit on his floor, took his covers off him and put them on me and went to bed. So, yeah. Type of daddy. He yeah. was, you was drunk. You drunk. was yeah. fucked up. What Come you on. was drinking? Tito's. <laughs> <laughs> That's what just happened to me two weeks ago. <laughs> that happened to you yesterday. That was yesterday? That was Friday. <laughs> Damn. That was Friday. He pulls no. over and I'm like, we on our way home and I'm like, hold on, babe. Like, I asked him first, like, you good? You need me to drop him? Like, no, nah, I'm good. good. Mm-hmm. I then he like pulls into this dental office parking lot. I'm like, babe, what the fuck? And I hold on. He popped the trunk and I'm just hearing, bleh, bleh. I'm like, what the fuck? He was like, you heard that? No, nah, I ain't hear that. The fuck? It's Duh. nighttime. We the only ones out here. Yes, I heard that. Duh, funny as hell. They probably watching that on camera right now. It probably <laughs> seen, like, probably seen, like, what the fuck? Duh, this nigga going from? ham, dog. Nasty. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Fast forward, y'all got a podcast together. Mm-hmm. Now, originally when I seen the podcast, because I do my homework, I, yeah. I, I study Detroit podcasts. Cause in my mind, I'm in competition with everybody and until I meet you and be all like, hey, cool. Yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. So, be like that. I saw you was like, first it was just, uh, I, I believe it was just you doing interviews. And then I seen cool. But I didn't even know that whole time this building, I seen people going in and out that I knew who was doing podcasts there. Really? Yeah, yeah. So what made y'all want to start a podcast together? And was it originally like the idea just to be you or both y'all together? Um, Originally, it was me and another female. Mm-hmm. Uh. That lasted probably... It didn't last the whole first season. Mm -hmm. Um, No bad blood or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then it was just me. Mm -hmm. And Coop was just doing the engineering and and the camera and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then a few times, it it became like, okay, Coop, sit in. You -hmm. know, type of shit. Mm -hmm. Ask your questions. Coop, wow moment type shit. Mm -hmm. And then it just... It just stuck. Coop also had his own podcast that he was doing, Legends of the Hood. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. What happened? Why'd you stop that? Well, I don't think he never I never stopped. stopped. So pause. Mm-hmm. I just pause because it's like, it's mine. Yeah. And then when we're doing it together, it's like, for what we're doing, it, it kind of it kind of work hand in hand. So, Legend of Hood, was that like you and other people or just you? Just me. Okay. So basically, I tell like a story, like stories and shit that happen. Mm-hmm. But I make a video for it. Okay. So basically, me doing that was getting me ready for Everything I be doing get me ready for something else. For sure, for sure. That's how I look at it. Like, okay, if I keep doing this good eh, until I'm good enough, mm-hmm. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm making it. So, it's good for us now, though. No, for sure. Good. Is it hard doing podcasts together? Because I felt like it was a little animosity when I came on there. Um, but y'all was professional. Y'all worked it out. <laughs> hey, so, <laughs> listen. He said, I feel like it was a little animosity. Look, I just want to say, if you came on our show and you felt a little tension or animosity between us, it is not you. It was probably us. And the day before know, you bro. came, it was for sure we. That was the when we had that party. I mean, when we went to the oh, event. Oh, that was him. That was a bad day. Um, the night before, we oh. were definitely still. See, I'm a married nigga, so I know what you understand what it seems like. like you know, know. okay, yeah, dang. Yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely I apologize. apologize. I apologize. Y'all, y'all sold that shit. Definitely <laughs> apologize. We had this energy. Yeah, but we we for sure wasn't seeing eye to eye. We had literally just got into a blow up the night before. <laughs> so do it be like well, if y'all get like that? Do it be like oh, I don't even fight doing an interview. Fuck that. Interview. We still no. do it, yeah. and we we try our best to put on our pro, our poker. 
her face yeah. so our mm-hmm. guests don't see that or you know feel that and mm-hmm. now that you say that it makes me feel bad because like, women we didn't do a good you enough talk no, <laughs> yeah no, no we're not gonna no, waste no, your no, time no, no, I, I, you know you just know when it's like yeah, yeah like, mad i come in i come in there she on one side you on one side you know type shit and nigga looking mad with the glasses on trying to block his 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 uh don't look me in my eyes we good today it's just uh i'm looking a little by sunday i don't be having no sleep no kids so i'm Shaded. What was some shit that y'all felt went wrong as far as like starting the podcast at first and, and you know what I'm saying in comparison to not being consistent? Mm-hmm. Well, I got a lot of shit because I'm like, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on both ends. Yeah. Like I'm engineering, I'm doing the videos. Mm-hmm. And you sit in for And I'm days. sitting in and man. Yeah. So what you think? The, everything that I went through to get it where it is now is like changing the building. Mm-hmm. So the first, I, I'm gonna go back to the first building. The first building, the issue was the fan was too loud because yeah. it was in the ceiling right there. Like you cut the air on, you, woo, yeah, 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 yeah. like what the fuck? <laughs> nah, I ain't nobody one. They're like, man, can you get that out, sound out? I'm like, I can get it out, but yeah, it, it ain't gonna be all the way out. It ain't all the way out. Every time you talk, it's gonna be. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't out. I can filter it. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I love that building, but you know. You grow. So I grew to the next building. The funny thing is, every building I had been on the same block. Oh, yeah. I remember she was saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just across down yeah, the street. Yeah, across down sheet. the street till I got to the one I'm at now. And I feel like that's like the biggest one I had so far. I'm a dope. Hell yeah. yeah. I, I fucked that. Hell yeah. yeah. But I feel like that's not the end. I, it's, it's something else I want. But it was before I wanted that. Mm. I want a warehouse. I don't know. For sure. Hell yeah. Hold on. But the question was. <laughs> What was you fucking up on when you first started? Uh, besides the sound. Oh, yeah. The the that, that's the major thing. Like, I mean, uh, like I said, I was trying to build a team, but I couldn't get the team right. Mm-hmm. So, that's definitely. Yeah, yeah. That, I still ain't got the team right, but it's, it's getting <laughs> yeah, there. So, yeah. It's getting there. Now, when you look at date, like, episode one to which, where y'all at now, mm. like, do you see, like, damn, I was doing that? Or, like, with me, I wasn't comfortable with the. At all, <clears throat> I was about to say some applause. Mom, I wasn't comfortable in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah, I wasn't um, comfortable. I was, you know, what I'm saying I, it was kind of like it wasn't necessarily all over the place, but it wasn't like no structure. Like oh that. yes, and that's important. Mm-hmm. Um, in the beginning, I think I've always had it where, nope, I'm not even gonna lie, nope, I've always had it where I was like comfortable with talking, so mm-hmm. that was never the issue. Structure, I had an issue with that because at one point, like I said, I had a partner. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of relying on her being there sometimes because I felt like where the way that it should have been is if, if I fell short, then she was there so to pick, pick me up, up type yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. But a lot of times she wasn't, she just wasn't showing up or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, I wasn't well prepared just in case she didn't show up. So mm-hmm. I had to start working on that, making sure I had extra questions or be more prepared and underprepared type of thing. Mm-hmm. So I've done better with that. Um, Trying to be more consistent. And then a lot of times, I'm still, I be catching myself chewing gum. It's like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, got, you can't do that shit. That's a, that's a no-no. <laughs> it's smacking. <laughs> Listen, I literally, the one Boy, that we did before we interviewed you, when we went to, I'm, I'm on there like, <laughs> and I was drinking too. We was at a party doing oh, it. So I was like, so I'm putting in the cap, the look, like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, I'm chewing gum. But yo, it, don't mind that part. But yeah, it's definitely... It's progressing though. Mm-hmm. Um, I see what the problems were. I'm working towards correcting them, for sure, being a for better sure. person. So. And that's the thing about it. Like when it's you have so many shows, it's gonna get better and better. Yeah. You are gonna look at the middle part, like episode fifty. Like damn, I was doing that shit. Yeah. You have episode hundred. Like as long as you change and you see what you need to pro- progress on, you you be all good. That's facts. Now, uh, you you uh, y'all have y'all space available for people to hold podcasts, interviews, yeah. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. A, do y'all give a fuck who y'all let use it? And B, if you be like damn, this shit trash. I don't want them niggas coming back in here no more. Hey, we give a fuck who <laughs> uses it. Um, like I mean, if in the sense of if you only have one person who like that person has a podcast, but they only got one viewer, we don't care about that being small. Yeah, but sure. in the sense of who it is, like the type of people you're gonna have around, and mm. you know, like, yeah. is it a you know what I'm saying? Sure. We don't want just anybody. But yeah. I mean, also secondly, if it's trash, then I mean that's on them. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, they they don't come there for us to like critique them. Yeah, they come no. there just to get it recorded, yeah. edited, whatever the case may be. Now, cool. Yeah. When you when you doing that shit, you be like, why y'all niggas even paying me for this shit? This shit is ass. <laughs> I'm gonna take y'all money though. No, that ain't what I do. 
like, I don't say it like I never do that. Yeah. This is what I do. I I help them. Okay. I help them. I tell them what they need to do to get certain stuff better. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, y'all want to do a class or anything. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't, I'm not about like. Get money. Because yeah, I think you got yeah. a lot of engineers like, who do music who don't give a fuck that you sound terrible. They're taking your money. No. That's funny thing. That's where I started. Yeah. As a music engineer? Yeah, because I started out with a whole music studio. Mm -hmm. Then I switched it to a podcast. Mm -hmm. So I was like, because it's a lot. It's a. Shout out to all you music engineers. <laughs> Bro. That's your real vibe. Punch me in here. Punch me in here. Hey, add a filter on this. Add that on that. Man. Yeah, it's a lot of work. At least. <laughs> <laughs> when you do it, you you know, it's, yeah. it's second yeah. nature type it's shit. Just, but it's like, if yeah, it's second nature when you do it. But it's like, you know, all that time. But, man. Oh, yeah, she, she missed her whole mouth and shit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> But yeah, I like first person to drink the water. Shit, fuck the. Right. You the first person to drink some water. Look, the little ones, yeah. You're trying to poison me. I'm thirsty. Oh no, I've been drinking this shit. I'll be dead by now. Yeah. So. <laughs> but I like to help people. No, for sure. So for they sure. can be better at their craft, or if this really what they want to do. Yeah. I like help them find out if it's really what they want to do. Yeah, because a lot of people just do it just because it's the popular thing. Yeah. Do. You know what I'm saying? And so then like, we've had people come yeah, on like that who's like, they they can't get past their intro. <laughs> they argue with their team. They can't get past their intro type of thing. Like, and they, and, or they got somebody who's just so fucking like, I need it this way, I need it this way. But when sometimes when you're doing podcasts, yeah, it's a structure, mm. but you also want to be organic. So if your partner is like, okay, we can't just stick to the script, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I gotta be in the middle. Yeah, for so sure. it was people yeah. who was yeah. just like, yeah, God, I feel like if you got a script, you should just you should have it there to reflect. Back yeah, 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 yeah. But if you just going with the flow and having a conversation, it should yeah. just be on the road. Cause most of the time, I got questions I wrote down, yeah. but I never use them. Yeah. Cause I'll be like, I read the person when she introduce this. I read people yeah. when she introduce people. Mm -hmm. I, I read they little. Then somehow I just click in the questions. Do you ever uh, y'all ever have somebody come on the show? Be like, oh, this is gonna be a dope interview, and then they come on and be like, God damn, this shit dry as hell. Y'all doing more talking than they doing. Never. Oh, shit, no, so everybody. Yeah, they like to talk. I click, I click it in. I'm like, I figure something they out. I was supposed to say yeah. you find that right question, yeah. and then they just out of hundred and twenty. This twenty four interviews. I probably had about. Four that was kind of like dry as fuck. Really? Yeah, maybe five. They ain't want to talk. Yeah, it's just like or everything was just. Or, yeah, I don't know what. Or it was. maybe that's just the way they talk. Like you be asking them questions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So One bro, I'm trying just, to tell you, like, like going into detail, and they just. That's why I like I don't want nobody under twenty one and nothing like that because oh, yeah, they, they really don't know about like how to conversations. Talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's but important. Then it's, it's, people want to come back, but like nigga, I remember the first interview. You, you, you was talking too much and shit. Like it was kind of wet. He's like, I'm ready now. I've been yeah. spicy. I've and, been working in the mirror. I've been watching and, this. And then when a nigga becomes so cool with you, they feel like every time they do anything, it puts come on whenever they, you know, what I'm saying. Well, too, but it's like, yeah. but my calendar is not available yeah, like, right like, now. Bro, you got hold that's on. That's true though. Yeah. Now if you yeah. was like super dope and super cool, like, all right, man, let's, let's make like, it work. I, maybe I'll do two that yeah. day for yeah. you. You know, type shit. Uh, Depends. Yeah, yeah. So what y'all hate about doing podcasts? Like what y'all hate about this shit, man? What's a turn off? Um, for me, I'm trying to think. Just outside of actual having somebody who's committed to actually come, like if you're, if I'm doing an interview, if mm -hmm. I'm just having a podcast and I'm just talking and I not having a guest, the turn off will be when they are not there, they don't show up, or mm -hmm. they on your ass, and then you make it happen, and then they oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell time yeah. forget time type shit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's usually the only thing that I have a problem with, or. If I see the person in in the streets, mm -hmm. where the event, I'm telling like, okay, I'm gonna reach out to you, you know, mm -hmm. to get your mother. Yeah, do it. I love that shit at all. Hell yeah. Fall into that DM and they just got a nigga on scent. Hell yeah. I mean, since since January, but you've been posting shit. You see my <laughs> shit. Everybody shit comes to their phone. Stop playing with me. Like, no, stop. that's the turn off. Mm -hmm. But you like, yeah, yeah, get on. But it's okay because you type of niggas and really? females. One once shit get where it's supposed to be, but, uh, and you hit me up like I want to come on, and then. I'm gonna leave you on red. I ain't yeah. gonna leave you on sin. Yeah, My yeah. people let hit your people up. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hell That's yeah. the only turn off though. But I love the fact that I love is just meeting new people and talking to them. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Say, What's saying? your turn off? My turn? Shit. I got a whole bunch of low key, but you know. <laughs> you always got a bunch. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a lot, nigga. I gotta do a lot. You, What's see? your turn off about it? Shit. Top five. Editing. editing. That's my f number one. Yeah. I fucking hate editing. Especially if you got a lot to edit. Man. Yeah. Spread. I always got a lot to edit, like, mm -hmm. cause I got her show, then we got another show. He got like got, five shows to, and then all the other. And shows. sometimes I got to like edit like six in one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And the upload speed be like eight hours per <laughs> show. <laughs> I'll be, be like, I'll be like, is my motherfucking computer raggedy or what the fuck? I'm like, I could have swear this was a new computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, is YouTube yeah. trash or is fucking yeah. what the fuck? No, that's what he be talking about. This shit take forever in a day. Yes. Yeah. So you be like, and then people want to hit you up like, is it done yet? Add this to it. Do Add this. this. It's fucked up. And, oh, if you fuck one up. You gotta start all like over. spelling something wrong or mis or forgetting like we spelled somebody's name wrong on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god! Sent it to everybody. Had it uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> had to take it down. He like, Man. I mean, it's, it looked good, but can you just? I'm like, yeah. But you gotta respect that. Yeah, you, you, know, know, you, you got to. You got to. I mean, it ain't that I hate the people. I just hate the editing mm-hmm. process. But I think I'm a, I'm figuring a way out now to make it simple. Mm-hmm. Like I want it to be 15 minutes. Yeah, for sure. If I can if I can find a software that make it editing 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> for sure. For the meantime, I, I hate that shit. In yeah. the meantime. Hell yeah. And yeah. do y'all ever think about charging niggas like as far as to come on the show? Yeah, that's been We working on that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but with certain things yeah. like with we have something with certain people and certain things that the way that they want to do it that we mm-hmm. do the people who've reached out to me, I tell them about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Or whatever. So it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we like example. Like like say we go use you for example. All right. We go. Uh, we go do a show for you. Mm. We go figure everything out about you mm. and make this show solely about you mm. and what you want to do. Mm. Like put your videos on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it was a rapper, yeah. rapper, movie, acting, so, whatever. So mm. when you see it, it looked like a motherfucking biography. Of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can yeah, set yeah. up live studio audience members. Whatever. Yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, whatever yeah. you want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? How you look, favorite little dish, all that. You know. Yeah, what I'm yeah, for sure. Make it, you know, yeah. make now, for you. Make it. I saw that you was a part of a show, um, a cooking show that we, we talked oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's, what's up with that? And also, is it hard working with other niggas? Like, you got four or five different minds, like. Um, the cooking show, I'm That's the one I put together. not sure <laughs> if it's, uh, it's on hold right now. I'm not okay. sure. We still don't figuring that, that out. That. I don't know yet. Yeah, so we're still talking about that. Okay. I mean, we're still figuring that out. Um, It wasn't hard only because the people that we were working with were like-minded people Mm -hmm. they knew what the goal was and they was determined to do it um Mm -hmm. and they showed up on time you know and if they couldn't be there then they knew how to communicate so it wasn't too bad no Mm -hmm. sometimes it is hard working with a lot of people but in that sense in that instance it was okay okay yeah 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 because i'm saying shit i'm like damn q and Nigga, we talking about the cooking show, bro. We gotta get on that shit, man. Yeah, do that shit. People no, love to sure. eat. People love to see people. Yeah, yeah. That's weird, though, right? No, I love that burger going like. What? For sure, like, oh, that yeah. shit look good. Let me go ahead and try that shit. Nah, I'm hungry. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ain't, though. For sure, hell yeah. <laughs> now, how y'all go about finding guests? Like, do we be like, all right, do you watch a, a motherfucker for a little bit? Like, all right, they cool. Let me go ahead and reach out. Inboxes. Yeah. yeah, it just depends on who it is and what it is. Some people reach out to us. Yeah. Some people we already know. Yeah, yeah, we already know, and some people we just fall into the end. I ain't gonna lie, I feel honored. Like hell yeah, I just got work and shower at midnight. Like oh hell yeah, niggas looking at me and shit. Cause you know, show. like yeah, of course. Like we, and we, of course, we you know watch the people. See, we you know what I'm saying we think that you was already doing podcasts and things like that. Mm-hmm. You know, certain people that we interview, we already see that works that they work that they've been doing or mm-hmm. things that they're trying to do mm-hmm. in the community and things like that. And we like that. Anything positive and powerful, yeah. we like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like a celebrity. That. Like, you know, no. they, Listen, that's how we, that's how I'm feeling. I was like I told them this morning like, babe, you know, this is our first interview. Yeah, yeah man, come on man. And now niggas gonna be all trying to copy like, oh, come on my show, come I know, right? <laughs> no, somebody did. So we got another one in July sometime. Um mm-hmm. uh, it was supposed to be sooner but the way the calendar and shit yeah happening. for sure hell yeah so i'm all honored i'm like yeah we got an interview like, yeah. what do we talk about should we tell them that we are open book like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit, we that's just what talk. people yeah, say yeah, we just talk i mean yeah i'm you know yeah we are yeah we, 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 yeah. we ain't found out that cool bs and shit and <laughs> crazy as long as he don't be my ass we're good oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't be women asses no we i don't can't be do women asses yeah yeah that nigga too big for that but shit but if like a whole bunch of women jump in there <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta throw them off. That's a yeah. different story. You better come over there and kung fu kick somebody. Hell yeah! Shut. But let me ask y'all something. Since we here, <laughs> since you want to play, what I since we here and you want to play, this is a whole conversation me and my whole shop done had too. All what? Right. So you getting in a fight? All right. And it's like thirty niggas. I ain't even gonna say thirty. Ten niggas coming after you. All right. She talk. She yo your girl with you. Mm-hmm. She like I ain't running. No, nah, get the fuck on. Leave. You can't help me. It's going to be both of our, both of us getting our ass beat. I told them I'm running. <laughs> they talk about, why you running? You too big to be running. You got to take something out. Huh, oh, you, oh, you saying, oh, I thought you saying, I like, what you want her to do? Oh, yeah, we both running. No. Yeah, that's what I said. We all just missed. That's what I said. Yeah, that's fine. 
And then I'm okay. That's fine. Nigga, ain't five, yeah. nigga. No, so if it's, five, if it's five, it's fine. It's not fine. No, I'm saying it. No, no, no. It depend. No, no. Five niggas. No, it's two. You better not run for two, cause man, we just. See, he a big nigga. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm five eight. You know, I'm having a bag. Like, yeah. Okay. He so it's for, so it's go for, wrong and he get his ass beat. I might have to pop a nigga. You got to get to it, man. You already. They know me. They know you. My wife right. got the pistol. <laughs> yeah, you better, you better shoot one of them niggas. I'm for sure gonna shoot one of That's why I said run, man. So my thing was, why do us? As a culture, mm-hmm. think it's not cool to run. It's, it's, it's okay, nigga. Trust you me. will run from one police officer, but you go not run from ten niggas. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck that stupid? That's funny. <laughs> what the fuck? So, so, <laughs> what the fuck? so me don't hug men it's, it, unless it's your your dad or your brother or your son. I was getting my, my nigga hug yesterday. Like so, y'all hug. Yeah. Like, so, so you put your arms on top or low? Don't do it. I, don't I'm not asking. This is a legit question, cause girls hug. We got like see, he know this. See, he that's knows. what I asked. That's, that's what I said. I was like, is it the arm in the middle type thing? Yeah, you know, like, like, put your arm right, on top. That's how we do. We got arms down low. We got fit. So I don't put my arms down low or up top. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like both y'all in the same. Place. Yeah, it's like that. Cause like usually we do like this. Like we had a conversation about this. You know when it's coming. So if I'm doing like this, if it's a quick boom, I know a hug comes. So boom. Boom. Yeah. So this is and something y'all was taught as kids? Like, how do yeah, you know this? It's just going okay, to flow. Okay. Yeah. It's you a can, thing. That's, that's not a Because it's your practice. Yeah, what's like that then? It's never like the hood like this. Like, yeah. Y'all got your st- his stuff on your stomach? Like, no. how does that? I don't know because... That's why the arm is in between, so no niggas bump stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. I was. Yeah. We was talking about that last night, and they was like, no, you can't. No, what, I, it'd be like this. Like, if I'm like... Boom, it's quick bang. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. So it ain't so, no. If my arm is around you and it's around me, yeah. and we yeah. not in that bitch, like, damn, man, come on, man. Cause I'm like, t- I feel your back muscles. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. It's a quick boy. <laughs> now, was... now you got that one, like, I see you all the time. Me and him, I see you all the time. Boom, boom. Yeah. All right, okay. So and, look, three seconds yeah. longer. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, and then you okay. got that one where nigga, like, oh, look, how you doing, man? You all right? So yeah. if you at a funeral and you're trying to embrace your bro, your man's. Mm-hmm. That's totally different. Oh, yeah, I'm going to uh, get my brother so hug. Top low, yeah. top high, what? We both at the same time. Y'all don't think about it because you're crying. Cause I never been this low, like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Like, cause I'm already short, so I'm always going. I'm gonna be a low nigga, like, so I can't. You go no, no armpits, the armpits. Oh, okay. Yeah, so both of y'all kind of like this. Armpits. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't that's, know. I'm that's learning. a different situation. That's yeah. death. Yeah, yeah I'm for just sure. Accent. I don't. I'm. Mean, sure. said never. Yeah. But like, I, when I see like never. my wife, like her uncles and stuff like that, or whatever, so or like arm. his homeboys, just always like it's like, a, oh, what's up, man? Oh yeah. shit. Boom. Okay. All right. I got it's like that. It's a quick boom, I just boom. Need more clarification. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you get an old school nigga, he gonna hit you with the boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be three boys. <laughs> long, wrong ass. Then if a nigga wanna show a sign of intimidation, he gonna rip your shit like, like you that. You be like, damn. Yeah, cause damn, nigga, nigga, show up, dog. So, somebody did that hey. to me the other day and scratched shit out of me. Pissed you up. I'm like, man, why you even cut your nails, bro? Yeah, now if you want some everyday shit, like me and my son, some everyday shit, like, what up? Yeah, right, because, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, that's, I was just. Well, so if I see you every once in two months, you getting that. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But she said, but you ain't hold nobody like how you holding your girl. Shit. I was just, I was just, I ain't saying like that. Yeah, but that's how it would be though, because right. I'm already a little nigga, so it's like if me and Kuba, I'm, a, I'm holding this nigga whole spine. So. <laughs> This nigga got shit on my shoulders. Mm, <laughs> like, like, fuck that. I ain't doing that shit, dog. I ain't doing it. You know what I mean? But no, it's always like, it's always a struggle. You got to know, you got to be quick on your feet as a man. Like, he know, yeah. he know. Like, you know what, you know what's coming, how the embrace is going to be off the fire. It's like you got to stop your moments. Yeah. I got you. I got you. It's quick. It's like rock, yeah. paper, scissors, shoot. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that shit, dog. That's funny as hell. We definitely had that conversation. That's hilarious. And so, yeah. So, and then my wife had me thinking like, how it's gay, how we smack niggas in the ass when we hoop. I mean, but y'all say, Different. like, how yeah. come you don't want your girl to grab your ass, but you okay with that nigga? He not Good grabbing. Job. He not grabbing my ass. <laughs> it's like a... He making that yeah, motherfucker jiggle. Yeah, like good shit, dog. He slapping, making jiggle. Ain't none of this. Ain't none of this. Ain't, 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 ain't no cover this. He, it jiggles, though. He is jiggling. And niggas who got an ass, and you in them little shorts. <laughs> you ain't gonna, that nigga ain't getting hit. You hitting me. He hit me. No, I ain't gonna do no big ass, No. Because everyone's... You might be that nigga with the big ass. Y'all no. shit jiggle. So what you do? No. Do you be like, damn, dude, my shit just jiggle. Like, what do you do? What the fuck? These are real questions. I'm a woman. I don't know. You my gotta shit walk away. Jiggle. You gotta walk away. I ain't gonna lie, though, because my thing is like, if a nigga make a good ass play, I'm beating it. That's some good shit. You gonna smack shit out of his ass? That bitch gonna jiggle. It depends on how. If he dunk on a nigga, you get it. just hype. It is. It's not no. Your hand supposed to be stiff like this. It ain't no no. His cheeks still gonna jiggle. It's okay. It ain't got nothing to do with me. That's his ass. That's what I'm saying. Like, is that so. But you made it jiggle. Like, you felt it. I didn't make shit. You didn't feel shit. If your hand stiff like this, look, make your hand tight like that. 
You don't feel that. Okay. Yeah. But you ain't that bitch like, nigga, good shit. That shit still jiggles. You feel a nigga cuff your ass, you better beat oh, yeah. his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm around Super and Bella, and this nigga, we ain't, we, no, we ain't gay or nothing like that. But I'm like, dog, I'm not checking this nigga with dog. His ass, like, that shit crazy. <laughs> nigga has super small shorts on, and nigga had a fucking woman ass. I'm like, cuz, hey, Red, you checking that nigga? See? We argue on the sideline no. about who gonna check this nigga, I'm dog. Trying to tell you. And yeah, nigga had the nerve be posting niggas. He was a big nigga too. I'm yeah. like, trying to tell you. I'm like, cuz. I had that happen to me before when I was just, I'm like, I ain't checking that nigga, bro. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> His shirt ain't right. Like he shirt. got a crop top. Oh, on. when you checking that nigga who like super sweaty and yeah. shit, like bro, I'm not checking no bro. super sweaty nigga. Bro, what, what's another question you got that you be wondering and shit? Oh, okay, about y'all guys, cause I be, I be just trying to figure what else we was talking about. Cause I be trying to figure out. They be trying to make it. That's like if, if a girl asks how you do look, and you ain't gonna never say he look good. You gonna say he clean? Like that nigga clean. Like, yeah, shit. He, right. he my type. Yeah, he clean. He take care of himself. He look like he my type. You go back. That nigga look good. That nigga good. That nigga good. So, wait, oh, you saying if your man yeah. asks. Oh, no, if a girl, girl asks about what your yeah. man look like, like how he look? Oh, that nigga clean. They keep himself up. They got a job. Oh yeah, yeah. The shit the women look for. Yeah, he clean. Say, oh, so his nails clean. He in a dirty. Yeah, you ain't gonna. You know, he working. He right? got money. Okay, cool. You gonna be like, that nigga over there glowing. That nigga look good. Like you ain't gonna say that he shit. He got good skin. And shit. Yeah, but I didn't take care of oh, himself. That nigga clean. Oh, you but I didn't get the hoes. You say something like that. Like that's your way of saying it. Like you know, what I'm saying? oh, he got hoes. That part. <laughs> I, I don't heard nigga say. Yeah. That. I don't heard nigga say that. Hell yeah. yeah. That he be getting the hoes. Yeah, like, but I shit. I always see a nigga with a woman and shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitches. That's what y'all be saying. You know, or I, all right, I got uh, just a, one question I got about the podcast though. What? With y'all, you know, what I'm saying being in a couple in a relationship and shit. Do you ever you ever had to check a nigga dog? She won't let me. <laughs> but, I you, didn't tell him I wouldn't let him. I'm like, do whatever. You didn't say that. I, I did, but <laughs> I did, I did. But you know what? The it, it depends on the setting. We all right, I'm asking you this individually. Have there ever been a moment you felt you needed to check somebody? And have have there ever been a moment that you was uncomfortable with somebody checking you out on the mm -hmm. show? Or just like, um, like y'all do these premieres and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be just to impress and shit, so you out there. We in you know uniform. Saying? Yeah, well, okay, we okay. wear our little t-shirts. Right, but, but still, like, you know, um, but yeah, yeah, you still, yeah. 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 Niggas still got, <laughs> nigga, they visualize yeah. me anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got a yeah. fucking but trench coat on. It never, it never, they never, it's just the eyes, you know. Yeah. They're like fucking, yeah. with you, fucking you with their eyes and you like, <laughs> yeah, can't like, touch it. But, like, and a lot of people sometimes <laughs> don't know that Coop and I are married mm -hmm. when we're out and about and we're doing podcasts and everything like that. So, in their mind, they probably like type shit. Mm -hmm. And then, whole time, we wearing our rings and For we, sure. you know, in sync type shit, but they don't know that. Mm -hmm. And they don't see him watching as they like, yeah, so you was sliding after this too, yeah. right? Type shit. I'm yeah, like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean, you know, the podcast, the little yeah. interview be uploaded on YouTube. You know, yeah, check it out right there. As, as dudes, you can, you know when, you know when a dude was trying to hit on your girl without them even knowing. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't say nothing. Yeah. No, he won that. He was like, yeah, my wife crazy. She probably drunk. He was like, oh, that's your wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's your wife. That's, you your, wife. Throw it out there. Yeah, that's sure. your wife. I said that one time because they was getting going too far, probably. They yeah. was not cool. But for the most part, you never ran to that that, that shit it's on the show. one person who like fell into it's my DM one. or whatever, and he's like. The dude fell into my DM after we had like interview a group mm. of them, and he had like acknowledged my yeah. tattoo and my ring is literally right there. <laughs> so Coop was like, well, "Why is this nigga following this?" Yeah, yeah for sure. like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I had somebody like we was at a birthday party. Somebody like, liked the picture of my wife. Like you like it? Then they like, "Damn, you look good in high school." I used to get mad about shit like that when I was younger, but I'm like, shit, she take care of it. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> like bitch ass nigga. Like, acknowledge that shit, like, you, you only my bitch. I remember the guys, my wife nigga, nigga, I remember back in my young days, I go on her page, like, nigga, you whole ass nigga. Are you serious? Hell yeah. Well, I was 19, I'm 18. I was, I was, 19, I'm 18. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, I was, you know, he. I wanted to sue something, but I, you he know, I always, let it go. No, he, he, he Cause the whole thing was, yeah, first of all, you coming in, yeah. you see this on her hand. For sure. But niggas don't give a fuck about that shit. But though. the whole yeah. thing is, the whole fucking wall say King Cooper Productions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know this is my fucking building. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> so you coming in my place of business yeah. being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. low key, this my whole fucking block. No, nah, for sure, yeah. You want to fucking come in my block and talk crazy? Man, yeah. and see, cause that's like, when, when I had women on show, I'll be, like, be expecting them to bring a somebody dude. With yeah, somebody. Like, if you come dolo, I mean, we good. We ain't gonna yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, do nothing yeah, crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being the bitch like a uh, players club and nothing no. like that. <laughs> yeah. But well, yeah, you always got, even if I was in a relationship, you always got respect. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Niggas don't be respecting nothing, though. Hell no, they, they don't. don't be giving no fuck. Like, cool but I'll be ready. I'll teach a nigga a lesson if they want it. Yeah, nigga, hell no. <laughs> hey, man, that nigga, the way he nigga talk, y'all want that shit because he my friend now. Talk about, I'll teach if you want I mean, I, I, mean I, I 
Keith. Shout out to my nigga Keith. My nigga Keith is no nigga though. You'll call a nigga unless he's on the flow. Yeah. Keep a bitch, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> he talking about yeah. <laughs> nah, that nigga was killing nigga Keith. That nigga killing was... nigga Keith. Now, do y'all ever get um frustrated about views? Like, if you feel like the interview didn't do what you wanted to do, but the thing is, with our job and how we do it, it's probably. You always go back and look at the interview yeah. whenever five years down the line. But a lot of niggas get intimidated or get upset about not getting the views that they want off of you know what I'm saying off the interview. Yeah, I don't typically. I think sometimes I may have a moment like, oh my shit, you know. But then I also have to think like, well, I'm not being as consistent, like dropping it every day or whatever. I may drop it and then work on some other shit, and then like a few days later drop mm. something else type of thing. So I don't really look at the views. I think like. People watching, they see mm-hmm. me, you for know. Sure. And then mm-hmm. if I'm out here interacting with them too, they gonna know. You know what I'm no, saying? For sure. yeah, I'm when the time is right, the people who post to know gonna know about it. Mm-hmm. So I just try to keep that into consideration. Like, don't get discouraged because oh, I didn't get 18 views. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or 18,000 on this. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Cause some gonna get more than others. Yeah, and, you know, just yeah. yeah. And like it'd be wild ones that you think that mm-hmm. would do better than the other ones, mm-hmm. and then in return, like one that you didn't think would do that good, yeah. shot, you know, shoots up, and you're like, damn. Yeah. Like, and like I said, once they discover you and go bad, like oh shit, they have dope interview. You can yeah. go through all that shit exactly mm-hmm. instead of a show like you know, saying you got morning shows. Like my own got morning show. Like when you talk about like current events or something like that like you want them viewers to be right there and there because right. you don't want to hear about the Will Smith smack in 2024 yeah, yeah, go back yeah. and go so like damn what yeah. damn, Will did that hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> fuck up in now, the last thing I'm gonna uh, ask y'all is, is like what y'all as far as the podcast shit what's y'all advice as far as a nigga starting a new, a new podcast or whatever um I would say definitely um Shit, now you can do podcasts off your phone and, sure, uh, yeah. you know, iPad and all that. So, get you some good quality stuff and just do it. Like, mm-hmm. just start it. For sure. Start it. What about you, Coop, man? What's some advice you got for podcasters slash engineers and shit? Man. <laughs> it's two different people, so. <laughs> you know, I start the engineers. Yeah. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Just keep your head up, bro. Just yeah. Keep your head. That's all I can say. <laughs> keep your head up and do it to your best ability. Yeah, for sure. For sure. People don't mean to be the way they are. They just, they just, I don't know what the fuck they be. They just, they just yeah. be doing it because you know they be expecting stuff a certain time. For sure. Time mm-hmm. limit, then you don't get it to them, and they be like, "Dang, where my stuff at?" Yeah. yeah. They don't be meaning that. They just be trying to get their deadline. For sure. Hell yeah. But people just starting. Make sure that's really what you want to do. For sure. Because if you really don't want to do it and you're wasting your time, it ain't going to be, you know, it ain't worth it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell, yeah, definitely. Don't be doing that shit just just, yeah. just because nigga Craig doing that shit. Right. Right. But, also, don't be scared to talk to people. In life, you're going to talk to people. Mm-hmm. you got to talk to people. So don't be afraid to talk to people. For sure. Hell, yeah. Don't but, be afraid to know. Oh, yeah. A lot of people going to tell you no. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Shit. No response is a response. For sure. You know how many nosy as I got in San Andrews? You know. <laughs> Plan B. Onyx. Go. Listen. Right. See, when you drunk, that nose on me a goddamn thing. Right. You ain't no, but your... for real. <laughs> yeah, now, we always end this show off. We got the little versus battles, you know, man. I'll give you two categories. You tell me who'll win. Okay. All right. Give me uh, fall gear versus summer gear. Fall gear and summer gear. Yeah. Fall gear all day. Hell yeah. Yeah. Even though I'm a summer baby, I love summertime, but fall gear. Yeah. For sure. Jeans, hoodies, I love it. Dress it up, dress it down type for of sure. thing. For sure. Hell you yeah. Always. You do so Depending on where you live. Yeah. For right. Sure. Hell yeah. Here, for sure. Here. Fall yeah. gear. Yeah. Right. I Mink. love it. Who the fuck? Minx. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Minx. For sure. <laughs> Day, uh, daylight versus nightlife. Now that I'm. Getting older in age, I can have me a good daylight yeah. little, little vibe and be good for the night. But yeah. you know, um, I'm gonna say nightlife. All right, what about you, Doug? <laughs> no, shit, I'm gonna say night. Yeah. All right, chilling at the crib or chilling in the streets? Crib. Crib. <laughs> <laughs> crib. Did it fast a couple yes. years ago. Shit. Um, goddamn. All right, cool. Mama cooking, wife cooking. Wife. Don't say it because I'm here. No. Nah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. What about you? your cooking or your mama cooking? My cooking or my mama cooking? My mama don't really cook no more, so my cooking. Okay. She just sal- she'll throw her a salad. She she could cook, but yeah. you know, when they don't cook often yeah. no more, they ain't gonna like cook for they kinda yeah. lose that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, ma. Alright. East side versus west side. I'm gonna say east because I'm an east sider. <laughs> he torn. Dang. That's what we gonna do? Yeah. yeah. We ain't starting no beef. <laughs> we ain't starting no beef. I'm from the west side. Go ahead. You know. 
I, I got the only reason I'm saying this is because I know everything closed at a certain time. But what's that? <laughs> so you gonna say east? I gotta say east. So everything right. open when everything closed over there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Martin versus Fresh Prince. Martin. All right. What about you? Martin or Fresh Prince? Yeah. Martin. Oh, well, see, look like Marty Mar. Right. Jamie Foxx versus Wayne Brothers. Wayne's Brothers. You like Wayne Brothers? What? Oh, she's a good person, though. Jamie Foxx. Marlon. I fuck with Jamie Foxx. I fuck Man. with Jamie, but when you put them two on, you Man. flicking back and forth. But the Wayne's Brothers, I, yeah, Pops yeah. and Marlon. I already got yeah, it. I can't. Niggas be hating on him. I'm hollering. I ain't hating on him, but Trash. Jamie Foxx, he's like so fucking talented. He is. Yeah. Yes. He but gives you a show every time you watch He said between shit. the two. Them two. Okay, so, so you say Jamie. So who do you think got more talent, Jamie or... We not doing that. <laughs> we just did. That's what the whole question was. Yeah. He said between the two shows, I would like to watch the Williams Brothers. Man, hell yeah. Jamie Foxx shows his talents in the fucking show. You gonna make me change my mind because that's how I feel? I am. Uh, I'm, no. not gonna change my mind. <laughs> I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not going to change my mind. The Williams Brothers put Jamie on and before, he's going to be talented. Yeah. God gave him his talent. Let's yeah. start there. Yeah. Okay, but right. the Williams Brothers yeah. is goaded. They don't get enough flowers. Yeah, they goaded. Yeah. They, you know, they, they, they goaded. The brothers as a un we united front yeah. siblings. Fuckers you talking about. Black community. Family. Brothers. Same house. Household of kids, you know mama and sister, daddy. Right? I said that siblings. Yeah, they're goaded. Y'all know how much money they got as a no. Yeah, Either sure. way, they talented. They now, put a lot of people. Now I'm gonna on. ask y'all this one individually. Okay. If you had to choose one, choose one, act in life or a podcast host. Like as your profession, you getting paid good money from both. Acting. Okay. <clears throat> now you cool engineer or a podcaster. Podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I about to say, I he don't want to do that. <laughs> but no, you know what? I'm not even gonna say that for real, for real. He gonna say engineer because he don't want to be in front of the camera. Yeah, I'll be in front of the camera, but it'd be like I know what I'm doing back there, and I'm, I know I want my shit no a certain way. Yeah, and it's like I know what I, my output gonna be is the, sure. instead of somebody else doing it because yeah. I let somebody use my same equipment, and then I was like. What the fuck is this? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. All right, now I got a couple of top threes, and then we'll be done. Top three childhood celebrity crush. Top three? Yep. Celebrity crush when you was a little young. Um, she had um, 50 you. Cent was one of them. All right. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. I, for some reason... Something Richardson. He was a basketball player. Who? Something Richardson. Oh, Creighton Richardson. No. Yeah. Yeah. It was for a moment. Yeah. I had a. I was. I was. I was the feeling the kid. He I, got a baby by Randy, don't he? Is that is that her baby, Daddy? I think it is. If not, I'll fact check later. All right. But uh, <laughs> third one. Um. Damn, I think they did. Third one <laughs> would have had to be. <sighs> I'm drawing a blank. I'm gonna just throw out a, a, a artist. All right. We'll say Sammy. All right. Sammy was. Sammy was. Oh, he do. <laughs> oh man. Dress, he could go crazy. Oh shit. What about you? <laughs> Top three crush that's a kid. Man, I had a crush on Mary J. All right. That's um, young. I low key I know all her music, but we ain't gonna go. No, there. Mary J. Dope. <laughs> she dope. My cousin swear to God he beat she beat uh, R. Kelly and Versa Bell. Gotta be a nice, talented show. We never see it though. We right. <laughs> right. Uh, who else? Man. I know when you got to think on the spot. Yeah. Your heart. No, I ain't like her. Who was that? <laughs> no, I like her. Dang, I don't know, cause they was all like old looking back then. That was not. I, oh, I had a big crush on uh, Claire Huxtable. Hell yeah, nigga. Best looking team mom ever in life. Still is right Hell now. Yeah, though. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Who yeah. else? One more. One more. Claire Huxtable uh, was nice. I love Claire. I love you, Claire. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me. I dream of Jeannie. I think it was getting off on that nose. That little ponytail, dog. Talk about the fight with him. Talk about that little ponytail. Hey, man, I remember actually seeing uh, people my picture, uh, a Quay Richardson when um, AOL Messenger. Mm -hmm. I used to lie. I was like 12. <laughs> AOL Messenger. I was 12, saying I was 19. Like, send me a picture. And that's you? That was you? I sent a Quay Richardson shit, dog. Then she sent me a little free picture, like, oh, shit, me and my cousin going crazy and shit. I'm hollering. Man. What a time uh, to be alive. Hell yeah. Top three foods. Your go tos. Potatoes. Ooh. Any kind of potatoes. Oh, yeah, you a good person. Seafood. Good person. Veggies. Okay. What about you? Me? 
nachos. Mm. Like this, like ooh, chili cheese wingdings. Okay. <laughs> Don't knock the track. What? Chili, oh, what chili cheese wingdings. Chili cheese wingdings. I ain't seen niggas do it. Show. I ain't seen it on Facebook, nigga. I'm surprised you what ain't else? did that. <laughs> You're so surprised. That's some. That's some. That's some shit. Hey, chili cheese onion rings too, but that's another story. Yeah. I can, uh, see a, I can see a Wendy's more so. Yeah. And what else was it? What's the go-to? What's the go-go-go-to? Like, if I'm just hungry as hell and Your I got favorite. It, what's my favorite? No, that's what he's asking. Oh, I'm trying to think what my favorite is. Pizza. Chicken. Hey, you can never chicken. go wrong pizza. Hell yeah. Any kind of chicken. Yeah. Hell yeah. What chicken is. Yeah, chicken. Did you just start chicken. eating, like, chicken legs or something? <clears throat> I just started eating some drums. Yeah, chicken drums. Yeah, see, I do a lot of research, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass reason. Yes, when Wibbles had made him at the, uh, what's her name? I know. He like, when you say that? Right, when you say that? I probably a little minute ago. I can't remember, but I remember saying it. I remember saying it. I don't know where or when, but I, I remember saying it. I remember saying it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did, dog. Yeah, yeah. And chicken I've been, I've been him. Not, not like, you know, if I order some wings, I still want flats only. But if I'm mm. like barbecuing or at home and I'm making dinner, I'll take out some drums, maybe throw it on the grill. For sure. Bake. For sure, for sure. My last thing is gonna be top three moments in life. Yeah, that's some um, real shit right there. Real deep, real sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> thus far, because you know they always gonna change. So thus yeah. far, becoming a mom, becoming a wife. Oh, see, um, when niggas don't be saying that shit, I'll be like, damn, nigga, you, you, you selfish. Because niggas be on the show like, yeah, I got five kids and a wife and shit. They be like, yeah, that time I had beat my meat that first time. <laughs> what? No. That was a good experience. That's a good experience. That's a top three moment, though. And oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> and I think being on set of One More Flip because the gen- the adrenaline that I felt of actually yeah. being in this light of doing something that I really For inspired sure. to do. Now, Coop, I know she want to stand, but dog, you know that first time you go crazy, dog. You you chase that shit. It's y'all, like a crackhead. Y'all about to laugh at me, man. <laughs> I've never did that. Oh, nigga, what? In life? I don't believe like, it, I don't I, okay, believe it. I tried it, but it was like I don't believe it, dog. It wasn't for me. We <laughs> always say this since I, I I've known him. I ain't. I, oh, so he told you? He told you this lie? Yeah, he's like, he's always said it's not this. a lie. I don't know. No, you know? I, you, have you ever caught me doing it? No. I but, mean, that's the, you're not supposed to get caught though. Like that. <laughs> if I if I don't get it, then I'm just gonna be there in there mad as hell. That's all. Duh. Shit. I can't. I can't. It's yeah, like it's gonna be shy Yankovic. These hands. Are- <laughs> <laughs> Yank dog, no, no. I, I ain't got no toys. I ain't got nothing. Shit, thirteen, you just got a memory, nigga. Thirteen, I was think about Miss Johnson. Like, I mean, <laughs> this guy, talking about Miss Johnson. Yeah, man, it's reasons I ain't do it. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, probably like yeah. some mental T- fucked up. No, shit. it's all good. Yeah, but yeah, nigga, I was Yank Daddy boy. We be in my, uh, my, we had cable, so nigga, my granddad house, we had the Cinemax. That's right. where that little free shit come out the twelve. So soon, my little brother go to bed like. It's mm-hmm. on. <laughs> it's going down. I mean, you may have been taking pictures while you like, all right, bubble, bubble, bubble. All right, I'm out. I ain't gonna say I ain't watching no freak shit, none of yeah, that. Yeah. But I ain't never, you know, just touched myself. <laughs> I am not. I watched all the freaky shit. All right, so yeah, what's your top three moments, there, man? My top three moments <laughs> of your life. Yep. Of my life. Well, <laughs> so far. So far, my kids being born. Sure. I'm gonna say all, all my Did kids. Did you cry born. anytime? Any one of them or all of them? I all ain't them. cried none of them. Okay. But that was like, one of them, I was like, Amazed because I was like, I congratulate her on how she did this because <laughs> yeah. I was like, is this really happening? Yeah, the uh, the water birth, okay, because I never seen that and I got to experience that. Yeah, that's so, when be like the little pool and stuff, yeah, okay, in yeah. the house. And oh, that's dope, room. yeah. I, yeah. I can't, well, I can't go through it no more. That's how cheap, so <laughs> don't <laughs> cheat. I'm saying I don't cheat, but that's the only way I could do it. Yeah, that was a good experience. Yeah, don't cheat, y'all. But another experience, you uh, <laughs> you know. When I was able to uh, release a lot of toxic mm-hmm. out of my life. For sure. Her, her shit, yeah, it just like, that was like a moment of my life where I was like, oh my God, I feel so much better. No, for sure. I feel yeah, lighter. Yeah, yeah. See, though, mm-hmm. I ain't trying to, <laughs> I ain't trying to, I, no, that's, that's some good yeah. shit. I was thinking about what I was just saying about me releasing, <laughs> releasing some toxic. <laughs> I felt lighter. He's thinking about <laughs> No, for sure, though. You I know, felt yeah, yeah, no, for sure. No, you really like when that shit built up. Like you was a mad nigga, though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> like I ain't as mad as I used to be. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I be yeah. looking like this because it's stuck like this. <laughs> but it be like I can't fix my thing. No, I mean, for sure. But it ain't nothing for me to go back like that. 
Like it's time, it's go time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the go time, but you know. All right, so what's your uh, what's the last one? The last. So one? I just tie wife and, and kids together. Yeah, yeah all that's yeah, tied together. Yeah. Okay. Because I because you know she gave me the experiences because sure. yeah. yeah. But my my last one is like our journey. Okay. This experience that I'm going through with her is like sure. it's a life changing journey, and it's like I I wouldn't rather have it with nobody else but her. Oh shit, it's deep, nigga. Shit, hell yeah, yeah man. Shit, I, I'm, I'm gonna go say that shit tonight, dog. Before I go to work, dog. Like. <laughs> For sure. Baby, I just want to let you know yeah, yeah, yeah. the journey with you is amazing. I want yeah, to it's, it's, it's growing. It's no, like, for sure, no. Yeah. It's always dope when you can find that person that you can do that shit with too. Especially, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times niggas and females they settle like, all right, fuck, I got fuck, I settle with this nigga. I don't want to yeah. keep looking at shit. We ain't settling. Yeah, hell we yeah. are not settling. All right, we always end everything off high moment or drunk moment or both. A story when you were dry, I said dry, <laughs> drunk, high or both. A funny story. A funny story. I give y'all one. Uh, damn, I got a lot of them, but <laughs> shit, I could use the one I just had. <laughs> no, nah. sorry, not not the one I just told him about. Yeah, yeah. damn, I be drunk a lot. <laughs> be drunk, drunk. Damn, that I be drunk, drunk, drunk. <laughs> damn, this is like y'all got. Oh, up. your birthday. Fuck. That was drunk as fuck. <laughs> Stay drunk as fuck. <laughs> that was drunk as fuck. But that ain't the worst. I got a birthday where they threw me a whole party. All right. This is before Sur I met her. Surprise party shit? Yeah, it's a surprise. No, it was a surprise party. I knew about the party. Yeah. So I, somebody decides to take me around to people's houses getting liquor, drinking. Yeah. I'm drunk as fuck. Like, I mean, I'm drunk. I'm drinking everything. <laughs> 1800 White dark. Motherfucking gin Motherfucking Ooh, Four loco Ew. Oh nigga I'm dead. drinking everything You shouldn't be alive right now They got the phone Man. I wasn't alive that night <laughs> So I get to the party I'm drunk You know when you drunk You get to talking I'm talking talking yeah. So I tell I don't know what the fuck We talking about Some old car I had Or something yeah. Next thing you know I done passed out yeah. Before the party started yeah. Now they done took me home I'm laying on the floor and they went back to the party and everybody party without me. Dog, they had celebrate my birthday. Your, celebrate your life and shit, dog. Yeah. You and this bitch in a field. We here because of Coop. Hell yeah. Hey, they in the real Coop. Coop. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That was Stop. some drunk shit. Hell yeah. It be like that. What about you? 1800 mm. days or current no, days? No, let's Ask. see. Uh, hmm. This is terrible. It make it sound like I have a problem. Um. Ooh. What? When? When you got half that edible. Oh, that's always terrible. And you woke me up talking about, did you drug me? Just recent. Oh, that, was, that was recent as fuck. <laughs> that was so honestly, so he gave, like I told you I was going through postpartum and he got, he came home with an edible and shit. Mm. And I was like, no, I'm not going to take it. And then like we just ate it or whatever. Mm. And then like I woke up in the middle of the night, I think probably a baby was crying or something. <laughs> terrible shit. Man. And it was a toddler. Mm. He was crying and shit. And you know, so we were like changing diapers or whatever. Or about to change a diaper or something. And I was, the edible had me feeling crazy as shit. I ate an edible before, but mm. this one had me this like is, out of box type yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. this nigga drugged me. So in my mind, you know, once you get high, you get the anything yeah. and everything pop up. So I'm like, this nigga drugged me. He probably went to work, told him, all oh, my wife at home going through postpartum. They was like, here goes some shit. She ain't gonna think about it no more. Like, this nigga trying <laughs> to kill it. me. Like, I'm in my mind tweaking. So then I wake him up, I'm like, baby, you know, like, Trying to express to him what's going on, how I'm feeling and shit. And then the, the fucking toddler is over here running. <laughs> he's like, okay. And he's stuck like this. And the whole time he's like falling in slow motion. He's like, but I can't. <laughs> and he's just like falling. And, he, and I see him. But I'm laying back and something keep telling me there's something on my chest hurt. Nothing's wrong. But yeah. in my mind, because I'm high, sure. my yeah. chest is hurting. So I'm like, I can't. You. So I finally push him over so he could like just fall down. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> shit. Like this is why we need no, not to do this type of yeah, shit. Yeah, no, M Elbows definitely had you fucking. Never again. Never she again. told me don't eat the whole thing, but she was like, oh. I can't get high. I no, was, I was like, I don't feel nothing like this bitch good. That's what happened. So soft. That's what like, happened. That's why if I had one little piece and then got another one, and that was all she wrote. I'm taking a break on them bitches right I'm now. I'm not doing no, that. I ain't never doing I that shit again. No, My I pinky toe was high, nigga. Yeah, pink, nigga, everything was hot. That bitch was about to fall off too. No, hell yeah, I called my brother crying. I'm about to make my last little Facebook status. Like, man, it was good knowing y'all <laughs> niggas, man. I appreciate y'all. Cause ain't nothing like dying with with a fucking Facebook status saying fuck these hoes. The money. last one, right? Like, right, yeah, right. Nigga, this nigga, Damn, he was sad. This, this why he died. That's why yeah. he caught up to him. That nigga said fuck niggas, man. Y'all fuck twelve, like nigga. That bitch, like this your okay. last status. Now okay. you dead. Now you dead in this bitch, nigga. Bleed on this whole ass status, dog. So that's why now I make sure my statuses make a little sense and shit. 
Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. before they be down. Like, my nigga Curry got four rings. Damn, that part should go back to mine. Yeah, yeah, you gonna... <laughs> My last little status was love rent. All right, read your last status right now, then. He gonna say that. <laughs> shit, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> you know, not the word, we ain't gonna die, shit. No, 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 we ain't gonna die. <laughs> last status you wrote? My, my shit. No, that one that I just did. I was in my feelings or whatever. I'm not gonna say I was in my feelings. I just felt the way, mm-hmm. and these people needed to know how I felt, oh, shit, or whatever ahead. the case may be. So I'm I sorry, said, don't make this a, a moment. I'm making these niggas read that. Write your last. That's a good my one. Chicago. Y'all can take that shit. It's same. <laughs> It's crazy how many of the females that I associate myself with be quick to be like, oh, Drea, you're my only friend, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yet, they don't really be friends, my bad. First thing, why am I your friend? Oh, you don't fuck with other women? or is it, No, I said, why am I your only friend? Oh, you don't fuck with other women? Or is it because you're not a genuine friend to them? I mean, when I consider someone a friend, I treat them as so. I'm big on support because I support pretty right. much everyone. <laughs> I've bought, shared, shouted out, had others spend money with you, refer you to others, etc. I just be wondering why that shit isn't reciprocated y'all don't even listen to my podcast but want to tell me about megan's podcast or carisha please don't have the decency to just click on my shit and let it play as if you do support i put some laughing emojis because i'm always (laughs) it's funny (laughs) if my content isn't entertaining as my motherfucking friends tell me you know what i'm saying tell me i said y'all know i've never been one to not accept constructive criticism be quick to turn up but not quick to make business like moves and they don't have to be podcast related i said (laughs) again so how are you my friend this is for every female in my life who considers me a friend and vice versa I read that shit was like, hey. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah. Not, not gonna, ain't nothing going to happen to you, but that be, that, 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 friends going to be feeling bad as fuck. Like, hey, ask the fuck they should. Man, what was your shit, cuz? My said last post. Good shit. Man, I'm going to let y'all read some things I don't think I'm lying. Go ahead, read that shit. Sometimes I, I wonder, I'm, what is family? Then I see my wife and kids. I love my family. Oh, shit, Aww. yeah. That was from 2000. But it popped up first. Oh, no. <laughs> popped up first. No, they said that, the last status no. you made. That's a memory. They gonna have, You haven't reposted that. So go to the last status. That oh, was some shit. old ass shit. What yours oh, say? Shit. My, it sounded good. I mean, so we can't, we can't read that we share it? Yeah, but he didn't share it. You know how oh. you first log on to Facebook and it be telling you what happened last oh, yeah, year, yeah, this yeah. date, or 18 yeah, years my ago. Shit, my, my shit was two years there. My shit, I want to start back hooping again. Oh, so that's not bad. And then the other one was, there's nothing funnier than people that post pictures and videos and them crying. Dog, y'all be looking goofy as hell. Damn, why they do that? <laughs> that shit do be goofy. Hell yeah. You want the world to know that you're sad? That's going to be my new shit, though. I mean, niggas read really, they, they I was going to say, you about to make them cry on here? Hell yeah. The last thing he said, oh, he reposted what I said. And he be recap. Father's Day is nowhere near the same as Mother's Day. We break oh, the bank for our ladies to make sure true. they feel loved and appreciated. They sell stuff on every block, but Father's Day, come on, we got all we get is Happy Father's Day, lol. Hey, hey, you we gotta do better. Give us the same energy. All of us not dead beats, just like not all y'all's are. All right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Sure. Well, shit, man. I appreciate y'all coming on this motherfucker. Thank you man. for having yeah. us. We I, had a good time. I know y'all about to go do some sh- uh, some shows, y'all. Damn so. Yes. So uh, give people uh, y'all Instagram um, um names and where they can follow y'all at and see the podcast and all that good shit. Um, power the letter i'm sorry power dot the letter u dot podcast on ig my personal page is andra alexis underscore a n d r a a l e x i s and um for the videos y'all can find them on youtube power you podcast for sure what about you coop you can find me on ig at king cooper productions one oh. word <laughs> and the audio is on anywhere you listen to podcast platforms sure. anything y'all want to leave people with any any good words on drink and drive and shit like that yeah don't drink and drive of course <laughs> keep your hands to yourself you don't, know. don't do shit we be doing <laughs> 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 we be tripping. <laughs> hey, that's a good way. Now, now right. that we listening to it, yeah, my yeah. bad. Now that we hear it out in the area, we be tripping. We don't be um, but we we just learning and growing. Yeah, for sure. We old as hell talking about we learning yeah. and growing. <laughs> learning and growing. Shit, you should have knew before. Yeah, no, yeah. um, yeah, stress for you wake up. Right, that part. <laughs> no, for real, right. you don't take that in consideration because no, sure. no. I don't. Y'all gonna be thinking about no. that, and now then I wake up like, damn, yeah. I should have stressed. Hell yeah. No, but for real, just whatever it is you want to do, do that. Right. If you don't know about it, look it up, research it, find somebody who do know about it, whatever the case may be. Like, get into it. Don't. Sure. It's no reason. This is another thing I had to tell my friend when I was going through my rent because she hit me up like, yeah, did you see what such and such shit? Because she was like, I'm like, no, bitch, that goes for you too. <laughs> you're in that category too. Yeah. But anyway, if you have a circle of people around you and you're doing something and not doing anything, take a step back, reflect, and maybe you need to have a conversation with them because I had to tell her like, in order for us to be successful, when I, successful, when I make it, I don't want people around me who's not doing shit. Like, you don't give a fuck about your life. Why should I have you around with mine? You're not trying to do better with your life, so that means you don't give a fuck about it. Why do I want you around me? For sure. Because you don't give a fuck about mine. You don't give a fuck about yours. Shout out to the legal dog. My shit, man, just keep your head up, y'all.
And um, shit, babe. If you young, you got young kids. Tell Don't them whack okay. it off. It's okay to do it. It's okay to do what? Yeah. Gang. Whack off. Gang. Gank. Yank. Yeah. <laughs> no. The dirty side. I don't want to get caught. Yeah. I don't want my. I don't want to see my catch my oh, voice. You, 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 you probably gonna catch it. I don't want to. I hope you don't. I got three boys, so. Ain't oh no yeah, one of them is gonna do it. One of them niggas gonna slip up. One of them niggas gonna slip up. My nigga Earl had walked in on me yanking and shit. I got up and had a motherfucker stiff dick trying to pee like, I'm what Earl? I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't doing shit, cuz. Stretching. All right, man. Until next time. Shout out to everybody. Episode one twenty four. Podcast MVP. What's the Detroit? Power you and this motherfucker. Peace out.